All right, it's time for a bit more Elden Ring. See how things go. I think I'll be all right. We'll see. Just back here after my brief fight against Ensha. I have a decent amount of runes, but I already bought the stuff over from Twin Maiden Hus, and I don't have any more remembrances to really use right now. The thing that really comes to mind is... Oh, I didn't even notice this little margin at the bottom of the map. I presume we'll get once we get Dragon Barrow's map, which, you know, I could just do that right now. Just go get the Dragon Barrow map and get that over with. It's an idea. Let's go east from here. Yeah, that should be good. Go over, pick up that map, and content myself with it. And this down here is, I believe... Yeah, that's the area of a deep sea for well. And I have gone around a little bit of that, but oh goodness. And is that a giant crow trying to get me, or... The big thing is, I don't need to deal with these rot dogs right now. Scotta jump over here. Oh, and it's raining. It's raining in the Dragon Barrow. I don't think they can cross that gap. Alright. You know, despite my best efforts to do things in order, you can never really escape going to Kaelid. Let's just get that map so we can see as many things as possible right now. But I... Do not really feel like going to try to kill Grail right now. That can come in a bit. This is map Dragon Barrow. Will this fill in the very bottom? The map has been found, Dragon Barrow, and... It does not fill in the margin at the bottom. I wonder what gives. Well, whatever. At least we got this, and... Shipwreck. Yeah, fun. And I hear... Okay, and just dragon stomping around. Okay. Let's check the description of that map. Dragon Baron environs that escaped the Scarlet Rot made a nest at the Plateau to Caitlin's North. This was it named Dragon Barrow and none dare to enter. I These are basically just a gill. Question is if I put the club up, how could I break stance? Hmm. This, yeah, we're okay. Honestly, I want to try eating some of these guys down. Oh, they're high. And can I? I did not hit at all. Oh, okay. That was a bit much. Hmm. Can I? Okay. Cool. Oh, oh my goodness. All right. Hmm. Can I slam again, or... Well, alright. Hmm. It's definitely hitting the head. Can I... Ooh, oh, oh, nice, and... Thanks, and run in. And take that, and how much damage, and... Oh, that's not that much damage. Oh, okay. So, it'll be some time until I can really afford to be here. Yeah, okay. Should have expected as much fighting literal dragons. Oh well. Hmm. <sighs> it's an interesting idea, but when they. Hmm. When they take off almost all of my health with a single hit, though to be fair, they aren't actually one shotting me, which is nice. Actually, pleasantly surprised. It is interesting that you get over here and there isn't as much rot. They have actual trees here. Hmm. I just wonder if there were originally any minor root trees 
Silver, southern or heavily rotted area. Hmm. So then I guess I'll... I left off kind of going up around here. Coming up to the... Four belfries, and I won't have a key to get in yet. Yeah, I think for now, I'll stop around King's Realm Ruins in terms of going up on the shoreline and then explore the water area. But, also gotta... There are all those crayfish over here who I'd like to beat up real quick. Get a little bit of vengeance. Oh, but I didn't even realize that I have a rune arc active right now, so it's very good that I did not die. And waste that thing then. Well, get a bunch of runes by destroying those guys. Thank you. Cool. I don't need that quick right now, do I? Not really. Oh well. One, two, three. Mm hmm. Well, alright. Drink that and come on. I'm gonna strafe. Thanks. Single 200 great hammer jump attack takes them down successfully. How exciting! Arrows and okay, we got that back, which is good. Can I? Oh my goodness! Barely any damage, but still. Hmm. Fun going over here. And then, and then, and then. Oh, who and what? Who or what is this? This group of commoners. Okay. Cool. Slam. Oh, alright. Another foot soldier, and... You were a bit more resilient, which makes sense, but... Hmm. Grow a fruit, or blue flower, throwing daggers, or scrap headband. Fawn gold work, nipples in the capital. Product of unending life. Okay. Actually, I... I could wear this. Hardly see it, but sure. I go for the aristocratic look. Hmm. Alright. Alright, then. Do I want to take down... For one, yeah, I should be using... Starlight again. Cool. Thank you. And then just... Well, to be fair, actually, using the... Stamp Upward Cut would work well on the Crayfish, except... Well, you gotta... Oh, alright, and... Are these Revenants? It seems like it. Goodness. Which means I've got to get the finger seal out and cast some healing. I said I think I could do this on horseback, couldn't I? Yeah, I can. Alright. Cool. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Golden rune. Can move a little while doing it too, but, mm, but the amount of tears consumed. That might be... A bit obnoxious. Hmm. Funky little place. It's definitely a bit more intimidating than wolves. Golden rune. And golden rune. Hmm. Nice thing is that I can just go in and avoid a lot of them. They don't seem to target me all that adequately while I'm on horseback, actually. Which is interesting. Golden rune. I'm like, oh, come on. Thanks. Hit. Kill. Hmm. Saw an interesting theory about why the revenants might be damaged by healing. Effectively amounted to that their bodies are so distorted that, you know, it's probably sort of experimental undead products that trying to basically repair their bodies actually destroys their bodies. 
This is interesting conceptually. Golden rune, golden rune. Hmm. Golden rune. It's all I was ever gonna get, but it's cool to just get rid of a big group of those guys with the power of healing. They're the only enemy in any Souls game, I'm pretty sure, that have been damaged by healing. Hmm. There's more crayfish over here, and then stuff at the belfries. So, oh, thank you. Oh, nice. Golden Rune. Musketeers. And yeah, the crayfish over here should be... Item ahead. Was there anything other than the golden runes? It does not appear to be the case. This is sad. Hmm. Okay then. Okay. If I try this. Hmm. Hmm. Get revenge on those stupid lobsters. Well, not lobsters, actually, but. Oh, we got more of them. Okay. Hmm. Really never ends, huh? Mm hmm, but. Staying on the horse is actually definitely the way. Okay, cool. And on the rock and that seems to help a little thanks and cool cool and we got all of them exciting hmm. really do have to wonder what's up with that is that a revenant on horseback it's an interesting concept hmm oh but that one i think I think that one's actually a grafted scion. And... Oh. Never mind. Okay. Hmm. wonder what's up with those horses, though. Interesting. This is... Just some smithing stones. Many of those do we mm -mm. need a few more for some of my stuff. Could level up the finger seal. It's an idea. Mm -mm -mm. But the crayfish should be over here, I think. If I remember correctly. Oh my goodness. These guys really do not stop. Come on. Come on. Hmm. Oh, there. Hard for me to really tell what they use. Sort of weird golden. It's almost the color of Death Blight, really. Hmm. Okay. Alright then. But as fast as heal is in terms of taking them out, it costs a lot of FP. Hmm. Well, okay. You can just take out a few of them right here. And slam. And slam. Well, or not. Or not. Annoying. Hmm. Okay. That said, we can hope that you know, they hit each other to some degree. Some degree. Hmm. This is not great. Not great. Hmm. Okay. And I. Okay. Hmm. Well, actually, if I. Yeah, the horse makes it pretty simple. Okay, oh, but the horse is taking damage, that was a thing. Alright, cool. Thanks. That kinda worked. Hmm. And 
and Jordan got a bit of healing from that too, which is nice. Hmm. I suppose the goal is to work my way back down here, kill those crayfish for the sake of posterity. What if I... Yeah, go back to sleep, why don't you? One. Two. Thank you. Cool. Then we can just bash you in again. Thank you. Hmm. Or crab eggs and white flesh. Okay. So then, what if I use something like Frenzy Burst to lure you? There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay. Get in close to me. Thank you. Hmm. Should be a side of grace a bit nearby, but... Hmm. Maybe? Can't quite tell. The nice thing is that... Torrent took the hit for me. It's nice of him. Oh, well, okay, alright, thanks. Die, die. There we go, cool. Hmm. The rest should be downable with skills quite easily. Two of these stomps. Then we. Okay, there we. Oh, alright, or not. Thanks. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Alright, cool. If I just hit the head. Uh, dodge, 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 dodge. Can I? Really, really okay. Hmm. Maybe. Uh, sitting on the left side is a good idea. And oh, come on, you. Okay. Uh, thanks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, well, we knocked you out of your jump. Okay. Question is... What am I going to get in terms of... Boons from all this? Well, will I get a flash restoration once I take them all out? Presumably I would. Thanks. Slam and... Can I... Thank you. Alright. Go for the critical. One. Two. And we got... Yep, okay. Last one, presumably, should give me... Uh, okay. Thank you. Cool. Run around front, and... Critical. Hard to see. Okay. Then we... Spin and slam, and give me... Yep, and that group of five... Crayfish finally gave me back some flasks and hardly any of that. I would probably prefer to go and start from the belfries and work my way down. Hmm. Okay. So I got my revenge. Hmm. You can actually see Volcano Manor up there. On that Mount Galmir. It's pretty cool. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, healing is a must have with all those revenants. And a way to get rid of them. Hmm. It'd be dumb if all undead were damaged by healing and pretty much insta-killable with it. But I'm glad they have one. And that's a hard enemy otherwise, but has a cheesy way to dispatch it if you feel like doing it. And I do feel like doing that. Hmm. And, okay. 
take that Mickle's Lily. And, and then, and then. First time I came up here, there was this illusory troll knight, but I got the impression that it's simply not. Oh, there you are. Okay. Cool. Can I? Or not. Come on. And. Thanks. And can I? Or not. Dodge. Oh, thanks. Cool. Oh, alright. Thanks. Cool. Yeah, I guess. Hmm. Mm -mm. Okay. Nice. And can I? Ah. Thanks. Dodge. Dodge. Can I? Hmm. Six. Mm, okay, there we go. Go in front and go for the. Oh, well, that's right. You can stagger, but the headless ones plainly don't have anywhere to actually get a critical in on. Yeah, you know, maybe I should have thought a bit harder about that one. Any other visible troll knights? I mean, spirit troll knights. Just like one. Where are you, bullets? Stop night and then praise the gorgeous view. Oh, it's just urgery at night. Okay. Honestly, maybe fighting these guys on horseback could be a decent idea. But I... There's a bit of special vitality. Not in combat right now, so... No reason to rush things. And actually... Starlight. Sure. Should have made it daytime, but whatever. Hmm. Hello there. Thanks. And brush in. Slam. Okay. And one. Ah, okay. Cool. So the stance. That's a great way to break stance. Makes sense. And one more. Okay, cool. Goodbye. Thank you. Okay, but... It's not time things right to actually get any kind of flash regen, which is sad. Can I... There we... Ooh, no, you're strong. Quite strong. Okay, cool. Luckily, just... Going in for a couple of slashes, does it? And... They did not count as an enemy group for the sake of flash regeneration. Makes sense, because they are kind of weak. Not just kind of. Lovable sword. Well, hmm. Sorry. Um. Not that nice. But the Bloodhound step, I mean, Bloodhound's finesse is definitely how I want to try to get poison damage off of this weapon and something sufficiently slow. Because the damage itself is good. It's not something I can really afford to ignore. Hmm. Even if I would, maybe prefer. Hello, how are you doing? How's life in Italy? I'm just... Fighting dudes. It's simple. Good. I got revenge on... Some crayfish. If I didn't feel good enough to be playing, I wouldn't be playing. Okay. And this combo is weird. Well, mm, you regen poise very, very quickly. Because I wanted to end the conversation as quickly as possible. Because it's not fun when you try to nag me about when you try to nag me about my well-being. It does not lead to anything good. So I wanted to just make a definitive statement. Okay, so. Should be a, might be a dungeon somewhere around here. 
No, this is... Okay, just Cuckoo Knights. Piercing damage should be good against them. Okay. Should put up a bit more light there. And Oh, do they see me already? That is... Unpleasant. There you are. Thanks. No, oh, well, I thought I could have dodged that. Well, at least I can one-tap them with a impaling thrust. It really is a good weapon art. And... Mm, the shield couldn't block entirely, but it's still... Mm, come on, come on. Multiple treasure chests in here, which is nice. Thank you. Hmm. Eventually, I should be able to get Piercing Fang, which... Once I'm on Altus, Albanork, Bodquan, already have a few of those. This is just a slightly slower, but longer reaching, more damaging version of Impaling Thrust. And that, and a four Smithing Stone, but can't really do anything there yet. Hmm. Just thinking. That was nice to have, but hmm. Even still, can I tree? Hmm. Where are we going? Where are we going? Hmm. The other stuff down here, but that it's a mad pumpkin head. So in that case, we put the bloodhound back on and see if I can. Stance break it with a skill. These guys are something else. One. Two. Oh, well. Or we can just kill it pretty much immediately. That works too. Surprises me. And I hear somebody tossing cuckoo glint stones, presumably, but I don't see where they're. Oh, there was a. Commoner Sorcerer just sitting there. Okay. Well, you know. I guess that's on me for not checking. Cool. One. Yeah. Go ahead. Die. Hmm. I want another. Okay. Suit yourself. Thanks. Thank you. Yep. Alright. Goodbye. And any. Hmm. I guess if we want flash back, we're gonna have to take out every single enemy in the wider encampment. Makes sense, but still. This looks like some place a dungeon should be. Hmm. So then, got a few more cuckoo knights. We got a dog. Well, thanks. <laughs> The difficulty of hitting things with hitbox in the dog with a hitbox is certainly something. Alright, cool. And, well, not if I miss my lock and miss it entirely. This one's bolt and something on there. What's this gonna be? Oh, my, okay. Hmm. Range is good, but it's not perfect and, well, you know, that's not bad. Especially since I used those things rather profligately last time. Golden Rune. And this should be the final one we gotta deal with. Yep, there we go. That should be the end of it. But there's that group of jellyfish over there that are all already enraged. It's interesting. Oh, a fruit. Hmm. <laughs> What is interesting is that the DLC confirms that, well, more or less confirms that the smoldering butterflies are tied to Melina in the same way that the nascent butterflies are tied to Mikkola and the Aeonian butterflies to Millennia. Because some people thought there might be, that the smoldering butterflies might be related to Mesmer, who is... one of the major DLC characters, but he got his own kind of butterfly, leaving Smoldering for Melina. I think they might already be enraged because of an item being here, which is going to be... Yeah, because they're already 
Oh, angry. Or at least red, even if they are actively attacking. Two, three. Should be able to get blood grease and... Yeah, the jellyfish shield. Head of a spirit jellyfish, floating above sacred ground, wield without modification as a shield. Extreme wipe, supple, no protection from piercing attacks, which is not true. It's got 100% physical negation, including on piercing attacks. Tejas Fury, Fury to 3 raises attack power for a certain duration. If you have it, it's still in your hand, though, but presumably, I guess, the environmental storytelling is that they might have been enraged by the fact that the head of one of their brethren was stripped off and used as a weapon, or just that the effect of the skill Contagious Fury was spreading to them and making them furious. But I... They're not like that. But... Hmm. Should have been... Weird. Too high up ahead. Is there something I had to drop down to, or... Appears like there's a road that... Leads to something that I can't quite see. Let me just check. So what is... No, it doesn't seem like there was any kind of cave or anything here. Just... A road that leads to the cliff face and stops. It's kind of strange. Well, alright. You know, it would be nice to find a dungeon, but... In other sense, this is fewer things we have to poke through. Hmm. So we'll loop back down and go north from here. Up north from here are the King's Realm ruins, which will eventually lead to Karya Manor, but not quite a place I want to go to right at the moment. Hmm. Okay. So then. So then. Hmm. That side of Grace down there. Over in... Or is that a... Yeah, that's the side of Grace that I just totally missed. How'd that even happen? Well, whatever. Oh, okay. Hmm. Let's make it daytime. Foot of the four belfries. Okay is I guess when I don't have anything else to choose I always go for more vigor make it morning and that leaves up more or less two of the four belfries or maybe it's going generally in the direction of Caria Manor interesting to see how leads you to dungeon like areas but Kayla doesn't quite have any legacy dungeon at all Brendan Castle kind of is a legacy dungeon it's also on the smaller side. It's about as big as Castle Morn, arguably. Actually, it's only a little smaller than Stormvale, but the mausoleum down here, arguably, could be said to be Caleb's second dungeon. Hmm. Then I guess the question is whether you count Mount Gjalmir up here is part of Altus or not, because they have Landell, the capital, of course, but they've also got the Shaded Castle over here. Hmm. It is what it is. Thing on the edge does not seem like it. Hmm. Also, it kind of reminds me of how in Dark Souls 3... There was that coastline area that you just could not ever see or access. Well, you could see, but never actually access. Way below everything else. Mm -hmm. 
Well, almost everything was kind of on a plateau. Couldn't really reach anything off it. So what is going to be here? Hmm. Guess we can take down these foot soldiers. Hmm. Question is, and that works pretty well, but still got that noble sorcerer coming after me, which I don't quite like. Hmm. Gonna shoot me down, and I. Hmm. Okay. Two, three. Got you. Okay. Hmm. All right. One, two, three, four. Then, oh no, it was this one over there. It's worth seeing through unending conflict. Thanks. Okay. One. There we are. Mm -mm. Make sure that we don't run right into the torch bolt thrust, but it should be fine. Now we can hopefully stop this carriage and see what's being taken behind it. Actually, before we fight the trolls, which we should probably be fighting using slashing damage, we can use piercing damage to take out the rest of these guys. I okay, all right, thanks. Hmm, okay, tough. What? Okay, that is not good. At least I was wide open for that. Okay, go ahead, die. That actually almost killed me. Okay. Hmm. Is it Cuckoo not on horseback? Noble sorcerers and... To stop this, but I don't have to kill the trolls to stop it. I just have to... Get them to stop pulling it actively, which would just require aggroing them. But we got you over here. Still like this. What kind of spear is this guy using? Didn't know there was a Lord's Sworn Spear. If there even is one. Thanks, and can I... Okay, well... Did not quite work. Cuckoo Knight grieves. Time is yet to dole their luster. Hmm. Let's hunt the horse down. Yeah, okay. Oh, and that gave us the enemy encounter completion. So that was a good idea, even if it wasn't just... Tempting cruelty. Okay, cool. And... Oh, nice. Well, the issue... Oh, and I can do a critical... I didn't think I'd be able to. Okay. That one stopped. Alright. One. And... Move in for... Oh, well, sometimes it doesn't work. Oh, we actually proc the bleed. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, so do I have... I do have blood flame blade. I may as well use the thing. So the flask, let's probably get one back. Okay. Right, one, two, oh, nice. Good stance, and move in, one, two, oh, and the bleed proc, which is nice, too. And the, well, okay, cool. Two, I think the bleed proc done. That guy, too. Nice. And anything. No, not really. Mm -mm. So let's just check what was inside this carriage. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Karian Knight Sword, and that straight sword, Karian Grandeur. Sword of Karian Royalty, Surface Catalyst, Sorcerer's Battle Skills, but not actually as a spellcasting tool. It's just as Ash of War, fewer than 20, match for even the champions of Golden Battle. Royal Prestige embodied in a skill. Magical Greatsword and swing it down. Charge to increase its power by up to two levels, so it's a stronger version of the Karian Greatsword Ash of War that I bought from Rajir a bit ago. Alright. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. But honestly. 
And I guess it would depend on whether you counted Mount Gelmir as part of Altus Plateau or not, but it kind of seems as if Lyurnia might be the biggest single area. It's just... The lake especially just adds so much area to it. It's cool. Especially since you don't get a lot of water-themed areas in Souls games. Especially since they don't really have swimming mechanics. The only true water area, I'd say, existed ever was probably Fountainhead Palace in Sekiro. Because they did have swimming in it. Oh, well. Time to kill more of these guys by using healing. Thanks, and cool. Nice. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, wow. Alright. And... Can I... Oh my goodness. You're, you've got to be kidding. Uh, how can I... Uh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. And... The time it takes for me to cast these is the other issue. Get yeah, one. Maybe if they come closer, somewhere I can hide behind. Big issue is that without something to hide behind, the slow startup of heal is actually really, really painful to deal with for taking these guys out. Well, okay, cool. Fine by me. Got a couple, and this is just a grave violet. Oh, but right, if I get behind them, the tracking can't keep up. That makes sense. Hmm. In here, well, that was a group of commoners who I already took out. We'll be okay. Stop the carriage. The Karian Knight Sword. Again, it is kind of a shame that... There's basically nothing in this game that is specifically weak to magic damage. Sometimes... <clears throat> they're about as weak as they are to something else, but... In that case, it's easy to just use the something else. And... Yeah, alright. And I got some... Flats back. Cool. Roa, Roa, Roa. Hmm. There he is. The rest. Let me think. Let me see. Go around here. And yeah, you have basically reached. Basically looped around the belfries entirely. I think we can get. A couple more infused sword keys from one from Karya Ma Karya Manor, I think, and one from the Academy. That will let me get to part of Sifra as well as a very early, very partial trip to Farm Azula. But again, I would need more imbued sword keys, and interestingly enough. They bring back imbued sword keys as a gimmick in the DLC, if I recall correctly. Very different kind of form. Oh, bye. There we go. Thank you. I can just repeat these. Don't even need to bother with chopping off tentacles. We'll be okay. Yep. Alright. Goodbye. Cool. Oh, but no, we needed one more little hit. So that was why chopping off the tentacles was a good idea before, because I would be able to... That gave me the tiny bit of extra damage I needed to actually kill. Fine. So if I... Thanks, and... Oh, well, never mind. Can I... There we go. Thank you. Oh. Stab. <clears throat> Stab. Kill. There we go. Makes me happy. Okay. Winged octopus ovary. Got our great glintstone shard. Which of those guys? And I think the scenic isle is where we're going to be a death bird as well as patches. So the question is when and where that's going to be. Okay, come on. You are weak to fire. 
Hmm. May as well try a frenzy burst on you. And well. Hmm. Okay. All right. It is good for sniping, but the juice kind of is not worth the squeeze here. Yeah, the Epe still does about as much damage. It's kind of sad. But I suppose that the range advantage is what makes the difference, but I will honestly say, though, that The damage, the roots damage of spells is already usually balanced around the range. It... Especially given how much damage weapons put out, and even more if you even use... Already very competitive, and if you use FP with weapons, it becomes not even close. The Northern Lyrnia Lakeshore. Hmm... That over there, I believe, should be the King's Realm Ruins, but I'm going to be over here already, I think. I'd like to go a little bit before I go to these ruins. I think I want to poke around here and see what there is. The shoreline. See a couple of octopuses. Lots of stuff. Hmm. Come on, come on. Anything else over here? Well, for one, I should probably use Starlight again, just for a bit of extra invisibility. And oh, I think... After you take down the hot air balloons, the marionettes beneath, that they usually drop don't spawn back some other way. They're just gone for good. So you can clear out the lake meaningfully, which is pretty cool. Get rid of a lot of those annoying marionettes. Oh, come on. That's what happens when they see me. Well, oh, okay. Thanks. Alright. Cool. Fun. And... Okay, so we can heal up while it's recovering. So being a little aggressive was a pretty good idea. Thanks. Or not. Or not. Thanks. Okay. Over the head. Will that kill? It will not kill. Okay. There we go. There we go. I actually appreciate... how sort of balance and the fact that octopuses are very very strong for you know just standard wildlife with them pretty much always dropping uh, always dropping a flask on death which helps mitigate what would otherwise be a painful enemy to fight. <clears throat> Can I? Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Not quite work. And mm -hmm. thanks. Sab. There we go. Cool. And we got. Oh please. Get over this way. I'm still in the middle of the fight. Just let me take you out. Well, that worked. Larger size of the projectile probably helps too. Hmm. It's over by Testu's Rise. Okay. Thanks. Alright then. Golden Rune. Guess the question is if I just went and tried to. If I destroyed this thing and rested, would this group of enemies just disappear? I kind of bet they would. And, mmm, okay. Move in, and, ooh, alright. Well, all of them are low HP now. Freak out a little, and then leave themselves vulnerable. Okay, cool. So, oh, well, alright. There we go, though. Cool. Cuckoo Glidstone. 
Now this is making the lake a little easier to get around. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I meant to use starlight, right? Hmm. Then golden runes. Got. Well, I will get rid of those land squirts when I actually go through the water area. Sticking to a system, a schema, is going to make it easier to make sure I don't miss anything. Would be the smartest way about it. Hmm. So then, it's over here, and what's that over there? Oh, okay, just some more Alvin orcs, which presumably would be weakest to Slash. Most of them aren't exactly wearing clothes. So then I... Mm, well, it's an idea. Horseback is an idea. They're fast. But, hmm. I... Pop a Bestial Vitality real quick. Okay. Help more wolves. Oh well. And, alright, cool. Thank you, we got... A little more wolves up here. Oh! Okay. Get down here. And... Get in close. So the gray wolves seem to be a bit more aggressive than the pack leader. Well, actually, there's no pack leader, because it's just... There are multiple white wolves now. Okay, cool. And... Alright. Just gotta remember to dodge multiple times when that happens. Okay. Come on, get over here. And... Yeah, jumping attack. Not that flashback. back. Okay. So what then? Are there gonna be any kind of... Ruins or something up here, or... Is the King's Realm ruins or... Up top? What else? Hmm. Oh, is that a... It's a... It's an actual, honest-to-god finger creeper. That's fun. Now these things are basically living hands and fire stuns them. Well, it doesn't matter if you kill them instantly, but you can see them writhing around in agony. It's monstrosities that should not be in this world. Okay. Roa. That was just one of them. Wonder if there will be. More up in the King's Realm Ruins, then. There are a bunch in Karya Manor. Which is part of why I've got Blood Flame Blade on. Well, to be fair. I didn't really try to communicate with the wolves. I tried to kill them. Which, I guess, in a perverse sort of sense, could be considered a kind of communication, but... I think that's stretching it. Mm -mm. Oh, I hear... Somebody or something gonna be up top on that plateau or oh it's a another finger creeper okay cool thanks and oh all right and that they're weak to slashing specifically but f any kind of fire damage will stun them for a time so it's Basically, what you'd want to do is have primarily slashing damage with a little bit of fire on top, which is basically what this is. It's gonna be a crystal tier. I think it will be. The big thing is intelligence, not crystal tier. That could be nice to have. This thing. Oh well, there we go. Cool. And you see fire. Oh, and it stays burning. Actually, catch a spot and takes damage over time. That's cool. Those giant ones will often stay on the ground, so we need to hit them before they surface. Otherwise, they'll get me. Mm hmm. They'll grab me when I walk over them and try to suck me in. Arterial leaf. Oh, oh! Did you hear that? There was an accidental leak through through a data mine of possibly the new Notlon mechanic, which 
the name in Chinese is apparently Night Spirit, which a lot of people think suggests that it's basically going to be a shape-shifting mechanic, which essentially Nagual, which is a, an Aztec concept, which translates very directly as basically magician, but maybe more accurately is essentially shape-shifting. It's basically it's animorphs, or probably turning into the Saurians. But there were weeks before that the new characters would enter some sort of stance or state on the use of their e-skill, which does not say much to begin with, other than that apparently there would be similarities between their e-stances, which basically the idea is. There was a message in the Imaginarium Theater sort of lineup hints saying Night Spirit characters have an advantage, which, as of right now, does not mean anything. But it was patched out to say that Numa characters have an advantage, which suggests, arguably, that whatever Night Spirit is is going to be the sort of Numusia style bespoke gimmick of Notlon, as opposed to a gimmick that. You know, son, that only those characters will get something that's, you know, deliberately a gimmick as opposed to something like Bond of Life or just HP changes in Fontaine, which are a bit more universal in that Fontaine characters can usually use it best because they've got HP drain stuff in their kit. But For example, it's basically Furina's old gimmick, though. Also, Furina is also sort of the ultimate new Musia character, by virtue of being the only character with both Numa and Usia, but, you know, primarily her whole deal is being a, in, being an HP change gimmick character. That, oh, that's my, is that my first? Oh, that is good news for me. Because that means I can finally get my Bloodhound Swing, not just to plus four, but to plus five. I can just use the 4 stone and then the 5 stone I got from Sifra and take it right, right to plus 5. Well, that's nice. Okay. That over there. What is this spot? Well, I will come back here eventually. The rest of this side of Grace, the ravine. Yeah. Well, either way, I apologize if I was a bit short with you earlier. I just wanted to clear up any misunderstandings as soon as possible. Okay, so let's go over, make this thing stronger. This, it's a very, very good weapon. Well, There's no doubt about that. Your, now your arms and strength and armament, and then we... Somber stone good amount of additional damage, a good amount of additional damage. That was about a 20... Plus 3 to plus 5 was about a 20% damage increase. It's crazy. Okay. Cool. This is... just... It's just an incredible weapon. So, then... Go back up here. Just the ravine. Okay. Tired in general, tired of me, tired of Italy. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So then. Hmm. That's where I got the map. I... Oh, okay. Well, sorry to hear that. Oh, okay, crazy weather. Rainy? Or... I... I could get another level out of this. It's no use in conserving these runes, really. The faster I get more levels, the stronger I'll be, and the less I'll die. And 
I guess the question is, how many levels will end up getting lost? Uh, damage taken. That. Through one, through through two. Mmm. Yeah, summer. Out of all the seasons in life, summer is one of them. I. Let's actually make it daytime. Last time until morning. Thank you, thank you. Hmm. <laughs> These rooms up here lead to Karia Manor. Yeah, I do want to probably leave that for later. But I guess the question is just how much is there going to be in the lake? Is there can't really be dungeons in the lake. So I don't imagine there would be all that much to go through. Well, there are a couple of dungeons, but not that many. Lost your ruins and revenants around, but then oh well more wolves. Hello there, hi. Hmm. Hello. Thanks. Yeah, just this damage, especially this early on in the game, is very, very good. Well, one thing you may not know is that apparently in Japan, oftentimes they consider the transitional period in between seasons to be its own season, which... Rum Crystal Bud, Frozen Before It Can Mature, Found in Cold Regions. Which I actually only know because of a Toho game, which, frankly, tells you all you need to know. And he just keep teleporting around and around and around and I... Okay. Thanks. Hit you before you teleport. Thank you, and can I... Thanks. Okay, so we can hit you mid-teleport. That's nice. There should be an illusory floor somewhere. Hmm. Roll down and get some stuff. And this is... E.G. forgive me. Roll grounds are placed in our trust, but we stood no chance. Who is? That's just a... Are they talking about a chance against me or what? Can't really tell. But okay, hello there. And wolves. Alright. Thanks, and... Mm. Roll. Slash. Hmm. It's actually weirdly expansive. Well, some light would help. Yeah. Fair. It's just... Oh, what's in far fine? Oh, water. Okay. That was interesting. Anyone else, or... See you. Oh, he couldn't see me because of it. Ground cover. So, do you have winter, or... And there we go. Cool. This should be... Horseback battle. Stay calm. Where you have arms. Incantation, then try healing. So, can I... Go on horseback, or... Big thing is, if I use heal... We'll do a silly amount of damage to it. Oh, you can actually get on horseback there. That's crazy. Okay, cool. Nice. And just cast heal again. Kill the Royal Revenant. There we go. Nice. Joke. Okay, cool. Enemy fell. Alright. <clears throat> so then. What's in here? Let's take you on all at once. Message, behold something incredible. More wire. Okay. Then this is the frozen needle. Ah, it's actually pretty similar to one of the weapons in Dark Souls 2. Impaling thrust, standard pierce, impaling thrust, razor thin piercing blade of ice, frost build up, e.g. Karian roll, blacksmith who will meet soon, cross spawn enemies, launch plate with strong attack, immediately regenerates. Okay, cool. Hmm. 
It's an interesting idea. Well, in that case, the fact that I could fight that thing on horseback was actually really, really useful. Would not have seen that coming. And what is... Oh, it's just some kind of sorcery trap. Okay. Cool. I think from that, we got a little. Okay. So then... So then... Anyone else? If you're an enemy... Enemy music... Who is trying to get to me then? This is the oyster wall. Oh, there you are. Cool. Die. Die. Is that all? I? Okay, I... Somebody's coming. Where are you? Here. here. I don't hear or see movement. Something's around here, though. Well, okay. Goodbye. There's our illusory wall, too. Nice. There is EG past the end of the ruins. There's some things we could buy from him, among others. It's part of that Ronnie quest line, but... Road to the Manor. I am not going there yet. I'm not going to advance past this guy. Uh, it's too much. Ah. Uh, question is, the Gate Town Ruins and Dios is over there, so... Oh, but I should end up fighting. I think. Gwynstone Dragon Smarag today. It's just gonna be in the lake, so find it. Should be a map somewhere talking about the key. There's a tunnel here, and I think a couple of Academy Crystal Tunnels that could let me buy some other smithing stones. Oh, I can just talk to him. He's got his troll's hammer. Friend ahead. Yep. Hello. Great swords on this giant anvil. This troll hammer. Oh. Pardon my place to ask. Black Sentence of the Karian Royals. Rusty hammer. Find my trade on the spot. Display it, but still able. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we may as well. Sure. Up until I get Golden Order Seal, this is going to be my best option. Hmm. What do I have to power up? Hmm. It's a somber stone weapon. Zorb was said of all else, apt to cause you harm. Fairly large compared to you. I don't break anything while I work. Goodness. Word of warning, if you please. Karin's royal family, not far beyond this point. And the Karin's, that's good to set it on this track. Carried on to the manor. Oh, so it was the Cuckoo Knights who attacked. King's Rome Ruins, Knight's Onslaught. And Saruman's potent with this day. Don't go near the manor. Heedless Knights to the Cuckoo. About advice about blind, it's been the peril and stranded snare that remains. Stay away from that death trap. Mm, okay. Blight sent me. Actually, Blight actually did that. Guarded soul is he. Something unusual about you. With Blight, something else might suit you. That is... Oh, I can buy some somber stones. Well, I've been consumed by skills. Karian filigree crest. Adorned with the royal crest. Where did Karian knights? Strip as direct retainers to the kingdom's princesses. Now there's only one princess, Rani, daughter of Renala. Who presumably we should meet. If we get through... I don't know how much we get done today. I might. Might see her, but I'll probably just see her next time. Hmm. Big question is, is there anything more in the King's Rome ruins that I did not see? This is... nothing. Okay. Interesting that they even let me through then. Okay. This big illusory wall marking the edge. Hmm. Alright. Keep on moving. 
see what else there might have been around here. There's another edge, so... Just look around. Yeah, I think... Next order of business is going to be to just explore the... Actual lake area. Probably. Hmm. So then... So then... Okay. Anything else over here, or... It's not really seem to be the case. This is- oh, well, there were a couple more wolves. I guess we may as well take them out. Thanks. And... alright. There's only two wolves we got. Flashback. I'll take it. So then. So then. <clears throat> okay. What am I going to make this work? Rune. Okay. Just these ruins, the manners up here, or this big thing, which is honestly pretty huge. They really... I guess it makes sense given how Ronnie is arguably sort of center point of the true ending of the game, but I did put a lot of effort into this. The question is what Albinorks are weak to. Just see. Albinoric. Generation Albinoric. Week two. Doesn't really say. Okay. First generation Albinorics. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. Huh. Either way, we can start moving north from here. Yeah. Shouldn't be too much, but I know that there should be at least one cave on the side over here. Kind of like there was one over this way. Hmm. The Wasker ruins, I think, are over this way, and we'll get, among other things, a tool. A wraith calling bell, which we can use to mimic the revenant's attacks. But I oh, hello there. Hi. Oh, well, I didn't need to dismount for that, is the thing. Honestly, staying mounted was probably a better idea. Okay. It might be a little overkill, but it's at least instant. Okay, cool. So then, take out the land squirt, maybe? Okay, cool. Goodbye. Hmm. See how well this deals poise damage, which not all that well actually. Hmm. But I've already gone through most of this area. I know that a while ago I went south and went to that cave with the around those crayfish, so shouldn't be all that much more. But if there is a crayfish over here, gotta get the club back out to kill it. I believe these are just purified ruins, so. Yeah, two. Oh, what? How are you jumping so much? That makes no sense. Okay, cool. Ooh, alright. Thank you, and. How is this one so agile? It doesn't even make sense. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Oh wow, I, I just don't get it. Cool. Three. Die. Chug. Okay. Alright, I guess. That was quite strange. It's just jumpiest crayfish I ever did see. Hmm. 
just using that as a marker to show where I had and hadn't been, but actually, the lake is so open that it's kind of hard to figure out the best sort of plan of attack. I guess I'll use a telescope as sort of a northern point, go over the part that isn't forested, and then go back to the part that is. Hmm. Shouldn't be all that much to see, but it's the principle of the thing. You also see sort of quasi quasi pathways. It's interesting. So then what and how? You know, I've been around a little bit of this before, but still. Been up there. Down here, I think. Hmm. How do I make this work? Hmm. Okay, and a another revenant, which one of them eventually is going to be a grafted scion, if I recall correctly. It might be this one, I'm not quite sure. Someone patrolling, and... I guess that was not the case. I did not mean to do that. Okay. Wrong flask. Shouldn't matter at this point, but still. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Not like that. One, two, three. Okay. Yeah, they are supposed to be somewhat resilient, I think. Compensate for the fact that, you know, they're weak, sitting duck wildlife, but, you know, we're okay. One, two, three. What if I, I bet I could hit multiple if I went for a poison bloom, okay. Don't have any AoE on here right now, so. Thanks, one. Rush in. Hit another. It's a decent way to do it. I know that I forgot what was in here, but still. Again, it is the principle of the thing. Can I jump and... Oh, goodness. That's tough. Hmm. Can I? Okay. Hmm. It's interesting. The big interesting thing is how you get some small, just normal damage ticks from the Poison Cloud. What actually does do damage in a standard kind of way, too. Okay. Slam. Slam. Then. Can we, one. Two. Oh, goodness. Okay. Please. It's not as bad as the... Random flowers, but still. Okay. I mean, you would think they would drop strips of white flesh rather than poison blooms, maybe, but. Yeah. What does it take to. Skull and rune right there. I guess the skull crushed itself by intersecting with land, maybe? But that's. Poison bloom, though. Can't use that to cure poison. Mm -hmm. They have... They do have a stance that you can break, but they don't really stagger. Is the thing. Okay. Cool. So... I guess the question is, if I fully charged up a heavy... Well, it would instantly knock them. Then it sets up an insta-kill other attack, which is not that bad, but... Hmm. Takes a while for that charge to come out. Hmm. Okay. Obosca Ruins. Oh, that's interesting that I can... I didn't even think about that. If I hold the heavy attack while on horseback, I can kind of sweep. Oh, now that's cool. Very, very interesting. 
Should have actually realized that because it looks a bit like what the Knights Cavalry men do, but you know, you learn something new every day. Seems that maybe that hitbox can only hit once, but the big thing is I could use that for, for example, basically a big jousting charge with. Uh, big jousting charge with a lance. I really do want to level up the lance. That would be nice. Get a bell bearing relatively soon, so I can at least take it to plus six, but... There are a lot of weapons in this game. Now that I think there are two grafted signs or something Tending to be... Oh, come on. I... Alright. Cool. Hmm. One is pretending to be a revenant, and another is pretending to be a crayfish, if I recall correctly, but... The fact that they do that is just insane to me. And... Cool. Interesting, and... Can I... Oh, well, alright. Hmm. Thanks. Okay, well, actually, we can just... Let's take advantage of that. One... Two... Well, not having it two-handed is hurting me a bit. Okay, cool. Alright. That... is something. Switch back to our fang. Honestly, I guess the question is... As cool as the ability to kill them with healing is... You're a revenant. And revenants are also weak to slashing damage. I'm wondering how much I could... Well, yeah, that actually works better. So it's so much faster. It doesn't cost any HP, any FP. That's sad. You know, I love gimmicks. I really do love gimmicks, but... Though, to be fair, it was good on the Royal Revenant. Because... It instantly staggered, took two hits to kill, so if I hadn't used the heal spell, it wouldn't have instantly staggered, and it would have been able to hit me somewhat often. Hmm. Let's go back. Purified ruins over here, over there, and the Alaska ruins should be somewhere around this way. Hmm. I do think I'm going to be using... Using Bloodhound's Fang on them, again, regardless. This is... Not quite Lasker yet. No, I think it is. Maybe. It's just by the map, alright. Cool, and... Thanks. Alright. Ah, yeah, because they are weak to slashing damage. It is honestly interesting that in Dark Souls 3, the best damage type is almost always bludgeoning. But here, at least in terms of physical, it's kind of the exact opposite. That standard is actually decent a lot of the time, because oftentimes things will be about as weak to it. You know, weakest to it, just because a lot of enemies will have uh, no real resist, honestly. They might resist one physical type and then be equally weak to the rest, and that will usually include standard. Whereas, you know, in Dark Souls 3, it was usually if they're weak to something, it's probably going to be bludgeoning, just because the way they decided to make armor work, but just... You know, the fact that they made armor something used piercing against instead in Elden Ring, and then... Because of the introduction of Golem and other sort of stony enemies, like the Stone Digger Trolls. And then at that point, it was just, okay. Those are rare enough that you really want to be using, okay, if they have armor or scales, use piercing. If they don't, use slashing. 
And you know, some things are specifically weak to magic, but those are rare enough to not really be meaningful, and they're going to be weak enough to some physical damage type too. That's really just... If you've got one of each in terms of bludgeoning, I mean, strike, pierce, and slash, and maybe not even, maybe not even blunt. I mean, maybe not even strike. As long as you've got a source of slash damage, a source of pierce damage, you got more or less what you need. Do I rub an insert? Just not doing anything to me at this point. Which, don't imagine they were really supposed to, but still. They're freaky enough that you would think that might be a bit more trouble. Hmm. What is interesting is that despite being healed, I mean, despite being damaged by healing, they actually resist holy damage. Is it interesting? So I think that I'm not sure whether those weird sort of spirit bells deal holy or magic damage. Hmm. Well, actually, special vitality time. Squirts aren't going to be doing enough damage for me to justify using something else. Okay. One, two, then one, two. Hmm. Please. Please. Come on. One, two. There we are. One, two. Well, all right. Okay. Hmm. hmm. Then, I think these are the last group ruins proper. Means that the cave that we'd still attend it should be somewhere nearby. All right. Thanks. All right. Cool. So one of these is going to be patrolling in a solitary manner, quote unquote, and then turn into a grafted sun, if I recall correctly. That hmm, it's going to be interesting. But for now, yeah, I think the cave should be around here. Have hmm. What do I have? But either way, I've got seven memory slots, and I've got two more. The rest of Lyurnia, so... And there's just going to be one more on Altus. Well, actually, not on Gelmir. But... So here are the last few ruins. Oh, there's a Wigget right over there, that's right. Cool. Thanks. Just run in and take these guys out as they're peering. That is more than fine. Oh, okay. And, oh, a big one! Okay. Two, three, four, and, okay, alright, thanks. Okay, I should have gone for the healing, is the thing. And I, oh, well, okay, you cannot do this to me, I swear. That was actually vile. So that's something I should have used healing on. That's for certain. And so, well, there we are. Okay. That was cutting it close. Ghost glove wart. And the big one. That big one was quite painful. So all of these revenants. All of them. Oh, but some of these are... No, all of them are revenants. Okay. The spirit calling bell should be... And the Wraith Call Bell should be here, I think. But no, it's just a ritual pot for now. And oh, there we are. And mm, but only the big one was a real problem. What remains? Golden Rune. So is that going to be all of them, or is there some group of them? But it doesn't answer all of my questions. Do know is that there should be an illusory floor somewhere. 
There is a way gate, but I'm not going to take that at the moment. Hmm. I think maybe over this way? Maybe. Oh no, it's just right here. Okay. It wasn't an illusory floor or anything, just... Hello? For a second I wondered if something was gonna... Try to hop in behind me. That'd be fun, just getting ambushed from behind. Wraith calling bell and that calls prowling wraiths using FP, intelligence, and faith scale in prowling ways. Worshippers of revenants, eventual spirits of those who died when cursed. Let's see. Calling bell. And it slow projectile. Does deal magic damage. Okay. Interesting. Not holy damage. I would have maybe thought differently. Well, because the Regal Omen Baron, well, the Omen Barn and the Regal Omen Barn are similar items that deal holy damage. Also just tools, because it's a tool, you see. You just use that, and it basically just does the same thing as their attack, which, frankly, is more of a gimmick than anything else, but... Smithing stone, okay. It's interesting conceptually, but it's not really good, and it's not really supposed to be. It's kind of a faux sorcery, but you're not going to be getting any meaningful damage out of it unless... Well, actually, you can get decent damage out of it from faith. So it's essentially kind of a sorcery substitute if you want magic damage, or a pure projectile for faith builds, which... Is just kind of crazy because it's. You know, Faith already has access to magic damage and some of the dragon incantations, but, you know, through that tool, they arguably get other magic damage too, which is quite silly. Unneeded, and what is. What is that haze? I think this might be the one that turns into a grafted sign, which in case. Yes, I actually want to see if I can... Will I actually be able to... Well, no, that one was actually just... Another one. It was normal. But somewhere on last year, there's supposed to be... A revenant that turns into a grafted sign when you hit it, which is... I kind of want to test to see whether actually trying to get a heal off on it... Would actually function as hitting it. Fusion, therefore, fingers. It's on Craftsman's Cookbook, and that freezing grease. Okay. So there was a side of grace over here. But I... Oh, interesting. Alright. Can I... Okay. I was aiming too, too high. Okay. Revilet and let's try this then and cool. Thanks and okay. Hmm. So where is Grafted Sutton? One gonna be is it west of here or what? Hmm. Thing is, we did go through and sad thing is that I can't really use a trail of corpses to see where I've been because the revenants all just vanish on death. Maybe it's pleasant. They are kind of kind of hard on the eyes. And I oh, okay. Just never really end, huh? Hmm. Really just keep on going. Hmm. But we've gotten those guys already, so Okay. Maybe it's somewhere around here. Maybe. I do want to try that way gate eventually. The one by the ruins. It's just gonna send me over by Ryo Lucaria, but I think. 
But it's nice to get verification, just to see everything. It... It just, may, it just reminds you of Helen Seira Island. If you didn't use... Okay. That... Mm -mm. Interesting. If you didn't use all the way gates, I mean all the... Warp gates, whatever they were called. The phase gates, the phase gates. You wouldn't be able to get all of the Electroculi. Some of them were on very, very high up paths, which deliberately were inaccessible by any other means. These are gonna be a Oh, what are these things? Hello? Oh, they're lesser spirit collar snails. We got those stone fireflies. They are some kind of attack, maybe. Interesting. This is cool. Didn't expect snails. So one of these was a boss. Another location. These fireflies are useful for crafting magic greases and their ilk, which, to be fair, I'm not really going to be using, I don't think. Got actual enchantments I can use for that purpose. Hmm. It is quite pretty. So then... So then, any more snails, or...? Guess I may as well use... Sun, so I can just use it as a talent, whether I've got everything down. That... Oh? Hello? Who is... Oh, it's Raya! Oh well. Hello. It's rather chilly here, isn't it? My mistress sent me off on an There's a reason she has this pose. Why am I muddy? In a bun, when a hand perhaps, slush necklace, someone to retrieve it, he too is tarnished. Find another, hear the request, thank you dearly, met like this. Home down the way, have the necklace back. Okay, and then. Marker as oh, Raya the Scout. Okay. Mm hmm. So she has a bit of a secret. That's why she's posed like that. Any other snails or. Oh, well, at least one more. That. Yep, okay. That was, I think, the last of the snails. I it might be time to put on some some more light. Got a funny telescope right here. Oh well. Oh well. That just Royal Lucari, and I think that's the place, the boil prawn shack. And then you can see Gelmir in a bit of Landale up there, we can even see the bridge to the throne at the foot of the Erd tree. Hmm. So these are places I've been. Those modern Erd trees. Yeah. Let's put up more starlight. Cool. Could be nice to rest, but that would just respawn. The enemies I worked so hard to dispatch. That might be. Might be the place. That. Let's take out that octopus. Mm -mm. Come on, come on. Just. Can we. There we are! I thought for a second that might not work. Cool. And. No. Thanks. Thanks, and. Okay, I thought. No. Guess the. Horizontal alignment is the important part to see whether we get the head or not. That's an idea. This ovary strip of white flesh and. Mm -mm. Let me just see. This is the. Oh, and. There is a. Oh, no, this is the scenic aisle. Hello. Means there should be a death bird around, actually. 
Bye, Patches. Yeah. Yeah, well. Oh, I can. Have you got much? I'm gonna give a stop notch. Okay. Purchase and anything new? No, nothing new. Horse crest, swift gallop, and ballista. Good arrow, great bow, Zord's army, and Estuk. New nibbly. All they need, master combat, parrot and dagger. I don't really need much. Hell foot. Bloody finger, bolt congestion, chopped off unceremoniously. By the way, uh, that Raya needed help. I need my business down to her ear because he is affiliated with the Volcano Manor, just like her. Mm -hmm. Way to the Ur Tree. Might help special means of reaching destination. In Ryokarian, sickles and spiked wheels. Transposition. Big water wheel in the academy. Fully intact. Cutting it on purpose. So I'm told they don't actually send me to Volcano Manor. Many times you like, surviving, big water wheel, and the urgery. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Death bird. Should be somewhere around here. But I... Not exactly. In a state I'd like to be in order to fight it, so... I will... Postpone that. And oh, okay, alright. Thanks. Cannot. Oh, oh goodness. Alright, cool. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh my. Okay. Ah. Uh. So the difference between stun locking them and dying is. Really just. Whether I get the drop on it. And, thanks. Okay. Cool. Cool. Oh my goodness. Come on, come on. Thanks. Enjoy death. And any. Well, the other octopuses here need to die too. We can get that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. Finally, finally. Okay. Oscar ruins in the scenic aisle. Patches, good old patches. Oscar somewhere. I think this. The Deathbird location is gonna get marked by somebody, presumably, so. I don't need to really be on the lookout too much, but I. Is that another revenant demi humans? Okay. Huh. That's just fly them like this then. Cool. Well, I. Alright. Thanks. This is simple enough. Yeah, cool. I might be top some special vitality. Yeah, I think so. Flask Cerulean. These guys out. Thanks. Cool. Gone. Ooh, alright. Okay, a club. Okay, not something I really needed, but... Oh, they're high end. Hmm. Shouldn't let you do that. Shouldn't have given you your time. So, one, two, three. Yeah, okay. Then, will you freak out? You didn't freak out even though I killed a chief then. Interesting. Okay. Just a glass shard. Alright. Mm -mm. Little flower. Then. Let's put our starlight back up. Okay. This. How am I going to make this happen? Not. Hmm. Okay. All right. Thanks. And so, where is it's supposed to be a lone one patrolling a group with others? 
One of them is supposed to turn into Graphic Scion, but not seen one like that yet. Once I get to the cave, I'm probably gonna big thing is if there's a death bird nearby. I think it's might be right here. Gonna rest, take that waking, just to see where specifically it sends me, just for fun. It's not like I'd get anything out of it. There's places I could have gone to some other way, but... Test that, maybe rest at last year to see if... No one I might have something to say, I, I doubt it, but... I always feel like resting at every side of a race just to check. And over here, there was... Oh, more demi-humans. Okay, cool. Thanks. And... Oh, a turtle. It's just gonna say dog. I better will. And... Uh, dog. That's just a joke of calling. Turtles dogs, because they have no way to really refer to... Refer to them specifically. I guess it is kind of interesting that there's no... Turtle... Noun that you can use... In messages, given how relatively prominent turtles are. And dogs are still more prominent, but there are enough turtles that you might think. I don't know. But here is. nothing. Mm -mm. So I think I wanted to get this vertex, more or less, before. Resetting the area by any means. There should be caves somewhere around here, if I recall correctly. Yep, this is a necessary item ahead. Which is to say, I have to go in there. Get some spirit ashes after going through that dungeon. Okay. In the end, there should be a quick little boss fight. It's another Bloodhound Knight, which should not be a problem by any means. Materials and... Serial item ahead, yeah. Okay. Wakeside Crystal Cave. A crystal cave. Okay. Anyway, I want to use... Oh, and this? Okay. This is interesting. I did not expect that. Okay. I, again, I think I want to poke around these woods very briefly before going inside the cave. And then I've got a couple of spots. But interesting that since the side of Grace was a good deal in... Even though we started in this sort of cave tunnel, the actual icon on the map started relatively far in, just because the lead-in tunnel is itself rather long. Interesting. Certainly a choice. So then, I guess we can just go dragonfly head. I'm actually kind of running out of Valfi. Let's see how I could... Mmm, I need more. I need a good deal more. They are just an exceptionally useful item. Honestly, the one part of item crafting I actually make use of. Cool. Three. Four. And... Oh, alright. Thanks. Well, this is... A wand tap, which is quite nice. Okay, cool. Mm -mm. That said, don't think that horseback was really the best way to be fighting them. Oh well. Not as if they were difficult enough to require that much thought in the first place. Oh, but I... Hmm. So this is right. This is where it turns into the Albinoric Swamp. The Albinoric Crabs. The Albinoric Albinorics. So then we got more fire monks. 
Okay. Red AP is still quite good. Mm, but the worst attacks. Oh, that flamethrow is kind of vile. I uh, okay, but peeling from us are fast enough to actually just break them down. Fun. And I what is this? It's a camp or no, it's just tree is reflected very, very weirdly. And I hmm. The lighting here is something interesting. I... Hmm. More golden sunflowers. Crabs. Okay. I guess I might as well. Mm -hmm. Crab eggs. Because there's that death bird and a couple of teleports and then I gotta find a boil prawn shack. Eventually. That necklace back, which presumably I think I'll have to buy back. Would make sense. Is this? Oh, it's, it's just Albinorix. Some kind of crystal tier. Which it might be dexterity not, which would be nice. Thanks. Cool. Albinorix shield. Okay. Thank you. Oh, this one is a ripple blade. Okay. Necessary item ahead. This is... Ah, there we go. Dexterity, not crystal tear. Use this as... Yeah. <clears throat> now I've got... All the four main attacking stats. Crystal tears, which... Should be helpful for the sake of damage when I use that. It's welcome. Hmm. Can we also go this way, or some firefly? I do wonder what those ghostly streetlights are, more or less. That is more or less what they are, ghostly streetlights. Okay. Let's poke around a little bit more over this way. So there might be to find... I think we've gotten everything in the small area. I wanted to poke around, so... Mm -hmm. This little crystal deposit in the middle might be... There's a snail. Okay. Hmm. Weak to slashing and also a bit to lightning, so... It'll be a while until I encounter another crystal snail. I mean, spirit calling snail boss, but lining on the sword is definitely going to be the way to do it when the top comes. And, okay. Sound effect proc, which means we got all that. Okay. <laughs> what is left? Quaskier. Probably going up to the death route by Scenic Isle, just to make sure. That should be more than fun. And then, of course, the cave. Rise questline. Yeah. Okay. You should be okay, then. Got Scenic Isle. Blasker. Got a Blasker first. We're somewhat close to another level up, if I feel like it. Hmm. But to be totally honest, if I want to do something like that, I'm better off trying to run. Oh, we'll see. Big one should show up again. Hello there, big guy. And, yep. Okay, so this one is basically a royal revenant. Okay, nice. Alright. Cool. Let's try that way gate real quick and travel to another location. Yeah. Okay, cool. Where will this send me? Somewhere near. Real Lucaria. This is 
Yeah, it's just more or less the same location that the purified ru ruins once sent me to as well. Okay. Hmm. South of it, Lucaria Gate. And then, and then, get down north. Academy Gate down, Gate Town Bridge. Oh, Hajime Mashtenshi, how are you doing? Nice to see you popping in, I'm just going around Lyurnia, taking things nice and slow. Good to see you again. I'm going to be beating up a death bird, I think. Let's see something. I need to do that. Should be one north of here at the Scenic Isle, so I'm putting Sacred Blade on this thing. It's going well. It. I was having some performance issues a bit previously that I hadn't had before, but I think it. I had to turn down my settings a little. It's not all that much of a difference, but it still kind of hurt. I think. Is the Death Bird gonna be up? Death Bird's right here. Where is that thing? Oh, hello there, hi. Okay, I. Right, I need to put the stupid thing back on. And this is. makes it a joke. Thank you. Ooh, alright. Oh, well, I. Uh, don't have a good amount of stuff in my. Physic Flask. Okay, cool. And. That did not hit. I, oh, okay. You went death white scream. And can we... Do not hit that. Okay, cool. And dodge. Okay. Slam. Oh, okay. And I... Mm, well, they... At least they don't really have a lot of... Threatening attacks. So I can just slam you down. I've been making liberal use of gold pickled Falfi for the sake of just getting more runes. There's really no reason not to. Thank you. Oh, Red Feathered Brand Sword and that. That's decent. Attack power when HP is low. And that. Red Feathers, Dink Death Rituals, Heart Sings, when one draws close to death, course, and awaits those who cling so tenaciously. Tenacious! Tenaciously to life. We could get a level out of this. Let's just put this away. Oh, yeah. It. There's really no reason not to use them. It's just... With the Scarab combined with the Falfi, my rune gain is almost doubled. Well, it's... 0.2 times... 3... That... Well, not doubled. It's a little over half increase. But... It's still very, very useful. So, in that case... There's Raya. Right, the next thing to do is to go into Wakeside Crystal Cave. It's going to be a Bloodhound Knight at the end, weak to lightning specifically. It is kind of hilarious how basically nothing is weak to lightning in Elden Ring. It makes it kind of a bad damage type. But my Physic Flask right now should have... Well, for one, actually, let's level up. I hear some funky things. Dexterity. Let's get... Actually, maybe a bit more mind for a bit more of that. I've been popping rune arcs like candy. Godric's Great Rune is just very, very useful for this build, as you might expect. But, so we need a lightning spear then. Question is, what enemies are going to be in this cave? Yeah, exactly! As long as I don't die. It means I need to be smart about things, but... Faith Knot, along with Lightning Shrouding Cracked Tear, should be useful. Exactly. Which is why I do my best not to. So, heal. Oh, but, Ren, I need to put Lightning Spear back on. Spear I. Mm, Vestal Vitality is good, but. Yeah, we put in Lightning Spear. There we go. That will be useful against the Bloodhound Knight at the very end, and we already killed the Omen Killer and got, well, already got the Medallion, which is its own separate thing from Omen Killer, but oh, right, we should put Heavy back on, because Sacred is not going to do me good here. Put 
Snap upward, cut back up with heavy. Thank you. Oh, but I guess the question is, now that I've got more stats, the quality might actually be better, maybe. Let's just see. Hundred. No. Quality. Quality is not better. Heavy is still the best. It is interesting how heavy gives more of a scaling increase in exchange for getting rid of all dexterity scaling. Try to be worried about... Oh, this is... If there are demi-humans here, I want to be using bloodhounds. This thing might be a little cheesy, but it's just so good. And the fact that somber stones are honestly more than a bit easier to come about than normal smithing stones just makes it even better. So that... Oh, this slope is kind of weird. Okay, well, I... Okay, thanks. Then... Enemy ahead, old codger. Hefty beast bone. Okay, I guess. That appears somewhat caved in. It could have been a spot I could have gotten through otherwise. It really is. I should be getting the first smithing stone bell bearing today, which should break the market even further. First off left and then seek down, but is that going to lead me to the boss fight or to... What a lot... Oh, well, they're high. Thanks. Go ahead. Keep keep yelling about something. Thank you, and... Oh, wow. That was an insta. Ridiculous. But, apparently... And... Some people saw it coming with the exploration gimmick. But... If it means anything to you, it seems that the gimmick for... Oh, hi. Thanks. Slash, slash... Goodbye, demi-human. Oh, goodness. Mm -hmm. The gimmick for Notlon is going to be basically dragon transformation on e-skill. Or some sort of creature transformation. Because there was an accidental leak by Mahoyo in... There was no hidden path ahead. In the descriptions for some of the stages in the imaginary and theater mode they just introduced. That mentioned something called Night Spirit. Unique to thrusting weapons, so counter damage. Soldiers in the lands between, standard weapons, spears, ferocious movement, complete ferocious counterattack. Which some people believe refers to the idea of Nogwal, or sh sort of magical shapeshifters, and to animal forms that exist in Aztec and other Mesoamerican mythology. Which could be interesting. Yeah, exactly. Liar ahead. Oh, that's right, you know? Maybe we could get a few more. Random heals by way of putting down a liar ahead message. I got lucky. I was finding the Black Knife Assassin in Black Knife Catacombs. And I did it just sort of on a whim without going back and resting in the grace. And I would have lost if not for getting a clutch heal from a message rating. I... Let's put down a liar ahead and hope that somebody rewards my efforts. Templates ahead. Liar. Liar ahead. Yeah, yeah. It was very, very fun. But I... Essentially, the small teaser we got for not one saw these movement abilities tied to turning into sort of dinosaur-like dragons. And it seemed like we would transform into them because there was no writing animation, which, you know, obviously was meant to... meant as a budget thing, but... Essentially, the idea some people have is that the Nautilon characters, or at least some of them, might be able to transform into them at will instead of just doing it with a terrain sort of butterfly. Oh, that's actually... Dark Souls 1, right. The Crystal Cave butterflies, that's fun. Is that in... Uh, kind of like how there were the Numa and Usia orbs you could pick up in... Fontaine. Some kind of... Oh, and it's snail. Okay, good thing it went to slashing. Oh, oh, they got... They gave the snails white dragon breath. That's insane. Okay, but... Basically how Fontaine characters could use Numa and Usia at will, even though any character could use them sort of temporarily by picking up Numa and Usia stuff in the environment. That some sort of transformation might be... Well, they're right. 
Well, I suppose someone usually puts hidden path ahead. Basically do the transformation at will, which I guess might be good for combat too, in the same way Numa and Usi at combat uses in the same, instead of just also exploration uses. That group, by the way, try fire left and... Oh, all right. They're not weak to fire, they're weak to slashing and lightning. All right. Golden rune. Mm -hmm. Okay. But what is interesting is that arguably... The character uses of Numa and Usia weren't even really as useful as... Okay, but we couldn't drop down there. We had to get down here. We had to take the side way. Actually, let me check one more time, just to be sure. Because there was a big cooldown on using Numa and Usa application as part of a character's normal kit, whereas if you could get them from coalesced orbs in, in the environment, there was no limit to using them. Well, at least, you could use them more immediately. That's the thing, so... It's suggested by the minor things we maybe know about some character kits in that one, that if they have a sort of Nogwall transformation into the dragon forms, or as they're known, Saurians, because they're dinosaur-like dragons, or maybe dragon-like dinosaurs, really, that they probably have, you know, they're going to have some level of time limit, and that might constrain how useful they are. Item. Didn't expect physical. Hmm. It's all down here. Smithing stone. Smithing stone. Lump of flesh. Okay. Alright, meat. Presumably not human meat, though, because then probably be a... Raw meat dumpling and oh what is okay and just more snails. Okay. These crystal attacks. Okay. Should be a bloodhound knight at the end of this. Which oh, but their crystals still persisted on the ground even after I killed them, so there is my Oh, there you are. Okay, cool. Let's just get this and oh, alright, thanks. Use this flask of wondrous physic. Take this and okay, all right. Oh my goodness, at least you're weak. Okay, cool. Toss, toss, and okay, all right. Mm, and big one. Okay, all right. Mm, okay, cool. Thanks. I dodge. And, okay. Oh my goodness. Well, you know, good on you for being strong in your own way. Dodge and ooh, okay. Ah, all right. Beardily strong. Okay. Mmm. Uh, dodge. 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 Okay. Oh, I... Alright. Ah, uh, come on. I, okay. Really? Really? Okay. Annoying. Thanks. And... Should be one more. One more. Yeah. We. Oh, well, not if I run out of Cerulean tears. I was not expecting that. Okay. And another. There we go. Cool. We'll pickle down. Okay. Cerulean Amber Medallion, and... Not much else. Maximum FP, Cerulean Amber Inlay. Old set becomes Amber. Treasure is the most precious of jewels. Age of God, free the first Elden Lord. Primordial life energy resides inside. Okay. Well, that... was fun, but... Honestly, not as amazing a performance as I might, might have liked. So, Latena should be on the other side. So, well done. Thank you. Thanks. And, yep, right over here we should have a set of grace and Can't really see anything here because there was the overhang basically keeping it secret. So tarnished. What do you want? What do you want? I told the old hearing. It's with Gideon. That I possess. She does not have the Hail True Medallion. Seek the Albinoric woman. If I, if, I, if I really want to imitate Gideon, I need a Scottish accent. I need to learn how to have a Scottish accent. You speak true. Trusted it to you. Trust those is dying will. Latena, same as old Albus. It is funny that Gideon's entire character is basically just reading the wiki. Tarnished. Well, I am. Will forgive me. 
Cut off in your hands anyway. Great service. Go back. Some Monsieur Sifir with a Lobo. And a Nicholas Haley tree. Gladly apprise you. Whereabouts of the other half? Sure. Half forbidden lands north of the Urge tree. Soul mountaintops of the giant. Grand lift overruled. Alright. Because it's time. My better half. Journey will not be in vain. Forgive me. And... One of the only two spirit ashes I'll ever summon. So I'll need it for a quest. Alright. Watena the Albanoric. Okay. And that. Watena, spirits at gel, were a case of one who chose to become a spirit voluntarily. Known as a deft magic archer, lost her beloved wolf companion Lobo, cannot move from the place where she was summoned. Slumbering Wolf Shack, but actually, as you may or may not know, there is a glitch where if there is a normal Albanoric Archer enemy nearby, she can mount its wolf if you kill the archer. Oh, Rune Arc, okay. Hole. Oh, yes, but also no. So in that case, it'd just be more around the lake, but also there should be said I might have actually one of the revenants around here turns into a grafted scion when you hit it but most of them I killed using heal spells and that might have prevented it from actually turning got everything down around here and up around this way so the only things really left to do would be poke around the actual lake itself which is big I'm pretty sure that Lyurnia is the biggest area. Let me just check and see. Grafted Scion. Scion. The one in Lyurnia. It really is just massive. And over in Lyurnia, that masquerades is a revenant. Lyurnia. Oh, giant crayfish between Rose. Between Rose Church and Boyle Prawn Shack. There was no revenant one. Okay. All right. So I thought there might have been two. No, there was there was just one. So I think that going from Scenic Isle might be my best way. Question is, I've been using these markers to sort of mark off areas where I've been, where I still need to go. I think that maybe is this is my point and just sort of go between these markers and the Gate Town Bridge. It's sort of a loop back around. It's an idea. That said, I need to take a quick bathroom break, so I will be right back. Thank you for your patience. Bye.
I guess the big thing, if you're sort of asking the question of what the biggest area in Elden Ring is, would be whether you count Mount Gelmir and Altus Plateau as two different areas or the same area. And maybe in conjunction with that, if you count Lake of Rot and Ansel River as part of Lyurnia as well. Because that would make meaningful amounts of difference. Okay. But I think using this as our leftmost edge and going around from actually going down from the Gate Town Bridge would be a good way to reach that too. Dialis is over there and I might like to just talk to him real quick to get him to move on and go back to the hold. Just ride down here and anything in here or... No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. <clears throat> so yep, this is our next sort of staging ground. We've got Albinorix over here. Cool. Miranda flowers. Exciting. Hello there. Hello. Come on. Then we... Mm, but actually, if we use... Jumping attack. Jumping heavy. We just... Wipe them out. This one over here should be... Next time I'm, next time I'm at a side of grace, I need to make myself clear my inventory out. I need to force myself to do it. And... Alright. Dodge. And... That was... Quite well done. Okay. One... Two... But oh, I don't have any... I'm pulling at the wrong number of hands. Whatever. Thank you, thank you. Oh, right. Probably say them back. Guess my question to you, boys, is where are you in your Elden Ring playthrough? Because, that said, you have beaten the game before, but I think you told me it was not a particularly completionist run. I'm just thinking, you know, if you're here, I presume it would be because... You've gotten to a point where you don't think that anything I could show you would spoil you on anything. But I... Uh, what is my seal at? So I could get it to 10, which could be nice. We'll see. Can I... Thank you, and... Dodge. Can I... Can I... Okay. Mmm. Alright. Oh my goodness. Okay, not good. That was bad news. I... Mmm. So I need a stick on the horseback. Horse back for the crayfish, and can I? Well, never mind. I, okay. Thanks. Ooh, can I? Oh. Uh, thanks. Eventually, you should be able to knock you over. I, uh, what in the? Oh, come on. You gotta. Okay. Come on. Come. Uh, literally. This is an epic, big boggart moment. Come on. I got. Mm, oh my goodness. So it didn't hit me. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, these things are actually so much worse than the crabs. So the crabs are. Wait. Patrolling. Is this one gonna be? That's not gonna be the grafted sign, right? I don't think. And cool. Nice. One. Two. Okay. So the crabs you can pretty easily get behind. But these things... This thing's just... Okay, cool. And... We slam and... That jump attack. So if you get all the way behind them... They'll jump to try to reposition. And you can actually... Okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah. It's still fun to kill things. Okay, so... We're right here. It... I can't decide whether Elden Ring is completionist hell or completionist heaven. Because there's so much to do. And it's easy to have fun just going around beating up wildlife, but... There you are. There you are. Thanks. And... Can I... <clears throat> One. Two. Okay. wonder... I know there... I think there's some death blight crayfish somewhere. Mm -mm. 
Makes me hungry for crab cakes. So eventually, if I recall correctly, Boggart starts selling boiled crab. Which is better than the boiled prawn, which is, again, just crayfish. Quote unquote, secretly. Okay, but it's immediately west then. I actually don't know where Boil Prawn Shack is. It when I played through, I basically ran right through Lyrnia, just killed Smarag around here, went through the academy, just went up the lift and ignored pretty much everything else. But you know, right now I'm doing things in a relatively completionist fashion, so I'm actually discovering a lot of new things, even though you know I technically quote unquote beat the game already. It's interesting. And... Cool. It's not a one-hit, though. Hmm. Thought an enchantment it probably would be, but... Oh, well. Hmm. That was where I found that death bird, and I see something moving around it. Oh, no, but I already went to... That was just Academy Gate Town. So then... So then... We are also close to Rose Church, and that... Be able to do Varese questline today too, which could be cool. Really is just so much. I guess the big question is when I actually go through Karia Manor on Sunday, presumably I should also be able to do right Rail Lucaria, because I've done Rail Lucaria already. I know what happens there. That's not new to me. I'm excited. Because I went through it before. Literally just to do self as his quest line for the Scorpion Charm, which I needed in order to beat Elden Beast on my mage build, but I rushed through it and didn't even get. That's one heck of a joke. Oh, goodness. Oh, but I. Oh, well, I... it's gonna recover, right? Is it gonna recover? Nope, nope, it won't. Okay. I found some finger creepers around the area. There are a few a little bit south of Karia Manor. You know, not that many, but they exist. So I found a few. But it is nice, because back when I went through Karia Manor originally, didn't have a really good melee weapon or any real source of fire damage, which among just meaning, you know, no way to really stun the finger creepers. It also meant no way to really get the big creepers out of the ground. As unless you have a melee weapon with some kind of reach, it's really annoying to just hit their fingertips sticking, sticking up out. But, you know, being able to put Blood Flame Blade on Bloodhound's Fang, because you know, Bloodhound's Blade, Bloodhound, Blood Flame Blade on Bloodhound's, on Bloodhound's Fang targets both their weaknesses, quote unquote, because in terms of damage, they're weakest to slashing. But as you know, it's fire that stuns them, gets them to take a bit of DOT, and also just, you know, gets them out of your hair. So the fire damage isn't really important as damage, but just... You need a source of fire damage to apply to stun the creeper. And then, of course, the fact that most of my damage is coming from slashing via the Bloodhound's, Bloodhound's Fang just means that the damage I'm dealing also is very effective against them as well. So, some of the big finger creepers were annoying. I also fought a couple on my mage build when I was going over to take out Dung Eater. Because I actually had to go to the Shunning Grounds, because at that point, I had rushed the game. I was... The Urtru was burning, the Hold was burning, Gideon was gone. So, if I wanted to progress Celibus' questline, I had to go feed the potion of Dung Eater. I didn't have the option of just giving it to Gideon and getting rid of it. I had to go and give it to Dung Eater, which meant dealing with some of the finger creepers in subterranean shunning, terrainian shunning grounds, and that was actually a bit pretty annoying to do with magic. The Miranda flowers in there were also pretty annoying to deal with using magic, because you know, as a pure in build, I did not have any even a remotely good way to deal fire damage or slashing damage. It It is interesting because <clears throat> pure sorcery builds have access to a lot of fun gimmicks like Eternal Darkness and the Moon Spells to draw in opposing sorceries and the like, but 
having only magic and physical damage unless you spec in a faith really does leave a bit to be desired. It... Well, it isn't even just the damage that, but more just pretty much all of your spells are some kind of bullet. You don't have any AoE. Well, actually, you know, not to say too much, but that did kind of change, but you don't really have AoE, you mostly just have projectiles, mostly just magic damage. And you do have some spells that are quite good, like Comet Azure, maybe Crystal Torrent, some of the better Comet Charter Comet spells, but it... Oh, hello. Oh, thank you, Setsu. How are you doing? How you been? Good to see you again. We're just exploring the big lake. I'm chilling. Hope you're doing well. But, thank you for the raid as always. And, slam and, okay, ooh, that was tough. And, can I, slam and, okay. I think we were really living on the edge with that one. Let's just bash you in. Kill that funky crayfish. Oh, goodness. We need another and to dodge. Just don't keep up and take it down. That did sign what should be. Oh, and. Oh, what? Oh, you had to kill it entirely to. Oh, my goodness. That's ridiculous. Okay. Suit yourself. So we can stay out of the way of this thing for now. Let's get Blood Flame Black Blade back on here. I might resist fire a bit due to the damage it's taken, but I. And you should jump and connect. Thank you, and. Oh, goodness. Okay, nice. And. Okay. Alright. Thanks, heal. Oh, we got more of these guys coming. I don't like that. I, come on, come on, and. Just got slam and. Okay, wow! We killed. Nice. We got a larval tier from that. Come on, come on, larval tier, and give me. Uh, well, this is going to be interesting if I want to take down the remainder. If I even do. But I. Sure. But. The fact that it killed the crayfish entirely before the grafted sign would show up is certainly something. Okay, I need... Oh, but you... Oh, thank you. Well, didn't have the time for that, actually, but whatever. I... Okay, die. Well, thank you very much. I'll be seeing you next time. Have a good rest. <laughs> See you around. Okay, sound of ragging. I... Oh, oh, all right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And we got that, which is good. So let's just dismount and... Can I... Oh, what? Can I... Weird, weird, and I- Really, really, you got to get him. That was very, very strange. I don't know why it didn't let me do that. Whatever. Uh, uh, uh. Hit it. Uh. At least it only hit the horse, but I- Really, really- uh, Okay, heal. Uh. The fact that they have access to such a strong range attack is actually ridiculous. Uh, what in the goddamn- You- Don't kill me, you stupid. Uh. Oh, 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 okay. Because of the, they didn't understand the holds. Oh, oh. Yeah, it... Like, like art, like a fake artist, or just stream stuff. Yeah, it... That's never fun to deal with. Okay, strip of white flash. Well, you know, we got the larval tier one down. Let's see if there's anything in this... Little gazebo, and... Got more smithing stones, that's not bad. Oh, but a lot of blood scenes here, presumably from people hiding inside. That's fair. I... I just kick mute when, when that happens. In the end, it... If they're gonna try to rip me off, I'll rip them off right back. I'll shut them up and make my numbers slightly bigger. If that works, it works. Okay, you know, it's may not be pleasant, but in a certain way, it's, it's how the game is played. So, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a streamer eat scammer world out here. So is this going to be the poison swamp? Not quite. Oh, there's another, you know, you gotta have fun with it. You gotta have fun with it. Well, thank you. Sleep well and see you around. Then... That's a poison swamp right there, and right there was another set of grace right here. Is there? There's no item here. That's a thing. This is. 
an okay amount of... Okay, so this folly on the lake... I wonder what that even means in this context, but... I've gotten past this, more or less, so I think... Forward to sweep up north, past Rose Church. Maybe poke around a bit. I think there's a crystal tunnel underneath here, which... I think that might be the bell-bearing one. Excuse me. Smithing stone bell-bearing one. So in that case, how much do I need from the next level up? About 5,000 more, so... Again, we may as well make use of it before the runes stop being as useful. Use four of these. So many of the basic golden runes, it's kind of silly. Okay. So what do I want to... Somebody invaded me? Wait, what? Oh, no, it's just the crab. That's silly. Okay. The crab got close. That's certainly something. So then I... Maybe endurance, maybe. Strength, sure. Hmm. I'll take that. Because I... In terms of equip load, I'm... Get to about... 48 or so before... Needing more in terms of load, so... I feel like I could banish my gauntlets. Do I have any kind of... Kite and armor. What's heavier that I could wear? Banish Knight Altered. We'll take that, sure. It's a bit bulkier, but the big thing is that even with the club, it's not putting me at heavy load, so... Eventually, from what I've heard, some of the issues people have been having with the DLC, not to say too much, some people have argued are because people are trying to stay at medium load when light load might actually be better, which is interesting as a balancing choice on the devs' part, considering that given how high level a lot of people will be and how much equip load they might have, you can get a lot of durability while staying at medium load, and they might have, you know, made attacks more oriented towards dodging with light load to compensate for that, to encourage you to, you know, to counteract the level of durability you might get. From being able to equip armor in excess of, you know, far in excess of what you'd be able to do during the base gameplay. But I don't know too much about that yet, so we'll see what happens with when I actually get there. So I'm gonna poke around this little bit over here, this crystalline forest, which is less of a forest and more just crystals. Hmm. I. It's hard to hit things. To position yourself pretty exactly, but see oh no, these are crystallians. There are just crystallians here. Oh, that's impressive. Big thing is I know that if I stance break you, you'll There we are, okay. Gone. Uh if I go for a stamp uppercut. That's mmm. Lion spot would be good, but I can I break and so we knocked you. It actually threw you up entirely, but there we are. Stance break and get a critical. So fighting these guys as bosses is going to be relatively easy. Oh, really? Yeah. Eventually, I do want to move on to a colossal weapon like Prelate's Inferno Crusher or Giant Crusher. But that will be a long way off, and I won't be able to do it without using Wondrous Physic, I'm pretty sure, no matter what I do. We'll see. Definitely would need some talismans. Big thing is that I can use this on horseback, which is nice. And one-handed, if I need be. But, okay, we should put on more Starlight. It kind of forgot about that because of the fights I was doing. But, we'll just tap that. And, what I'm thinking is... The big thing is that, arguably, the fastest way to... Fastest and safest way to rack up large amounts of stance damage in the game is... Lion's Claw on a hammer-type colossal weapon. And it is interesting that... They make distinctions within colossal weapons, because... Some of them are hammer-type, which... And I think that's just Prelate's Inferno Crusher and Giant Crusher. And some are other things like Golem's Halberd, and they deal less stance damage with the same skills. 
So if you want to deal stance damage, you need to use Inferno Krajir, which... You know, the fact that Krajir looks really, really stupid compensates for how good it is at dealing stance damage combined with the Lion's Claw, and that would deal... Which I would get over from Fort Gale over in Caled, which I think is right over here, so not that far away. But going over there to Fort Gale and then using... Killing the lion, getting the lion's caught, putting it on something. I could, but I actually don't want to. I don't want to do it right now because it just, just because it is that good. That, once I get it, a lot of the challenge is going to be kind of gone. And that's going to be useful for later bosses in the game that I'm really going to need, to, where it's just going to be sort of stagger or suffer. But for right now, I I can get by with Stamp Upward Cut, and I'm fine with it, especially since the Guardian line is going to be a little bit annoying. Not crazy, but annoying enough for that. I may as well postpone it for my actual Kaled run, which is going to be after Ryo Lucaria. I need to remember to actually do it, because I might end up forgetting and just going to Altus. But I intend to go through... Kaled, at least at least the lower part of Kaled, maybe even Dragon Bear if I can. Yeah. Well, the big thing is just, as I'm sure you're aware, Lion's Claw is just that much faster. It has more hyper armor. I think you you can be knocked out of Stamp Upward Cut. It's just harder, but I'm pretty sure that the only way a Lion's Claw can be stopped is if the enemy just kills you mid Lion's Claw. But, anything else over here, or... Hmm, some of this. As you could probably tell, I got Uppercut a long time. I mean, I got Blood Flame Blade a long time ago. But, got 45 stance damage with hyper armor, good damage, good speed. And the ability to sometimes dodge enemies that are dodge grounded attacks is really nothing to trifle with. Okay, well, okay, come on. And, okay. Thanks. I was trying to dodge that. But that probably could have grabbed me if I'd been stupid. It might have even killed me, which would have sucked. Okay. Crab eggs. Time for crab. But. Because I have heard a lot of people talking about DLC difficulty is basically. It's so hard that I basically had to just use Giant's Crusher Lion's Claw and everything. And not only did that tell me, you know, maybe I actually want to wait to do the DLC until I've literally beaten the final boss and then go there, because it is, in a way that isn't really true about other FromSoft DLCs, a lot of people have said that Shadow of the Urge Tree is honestly more post-game content than anything else, which makes some sense. Oh, three crabs in one swing. And just, given what I've heard about the difficulty without spoiling too much, I might honestly want to, like I said, just, you know, fight the final boss, get everything I can there. Especially since a lot of stuff in the DLC is, you get a lot of strong options. And I think I might want to just, you know, beat the game with my silly eagle stats build normally, vanilla. And then go through the DLC and use the crazy strong DLC stuff on DLC stuff where it's going to be balanced for the situation in lieu of, you know, going through and maybe having a bit of a hard time, but, you know, not that crazy of a time, because I'd be able to just get DLC stuff. Then go back, trivialize... trivialize main game, because if I wanted to, you, know, you just have to beat Mogan Radon. And FromSoft said that outright, that's not spoilers. Not really. So I can beat Radon before going on Altus. I could beat Moog before going on Altus if I really felt like it. I don't really feel like it. But if I wanted to, I could go to the DLC before hitting Altus. Which would mean that I could just use DLC stuff to trivialize, you know, the latter t half or arguably two-thirds of the game, depending on how you divide things up, because... Seafro, Lake of Rot, Upper Lyurnia, Dragon Barrow are kind of balanced around being post-Altus. And whether Galmir is pre- or post-Altus, or I guess pre- or post Landel is another question, which... But... 
big thing is I would be very, very strong, a little overpowered for at least the latter half of the game, depending on how you slice it up, if I went to the DLC somewhat early. And I don't really want that. I would like a decent amount of balance wherever I go. This thing needs some upgrading, honestly. Then, head around this part of the forest. So yeah, it's Rose Church. We'll meet Vare again. I think this might be Boil Prone Shack. Raya, yeah, Patches. Patches mentions Raya, because yeah, he's a Rekisin, I believe. Whenever I hear the word Rekisin, I think of the few Kingdom Hearts cutscenes I've seen. You know, that, especially since now it's actually on Steam. I should have bought it when it was on sale. That's a that's a game series I also need to play. It's I don't even like Disney all that much. And you know, the only Final Fantasy game I've played is Half of Six. Which again is also another series I need to play through. And you know, maybe, maybe one day, and that might lead to me playing 14. Final Fantasy 14, which would itself be kind of crazy, but I mean, T-Boys, you know all about it. You know, everyone just plays 14 these days, and I have, to be the, I have to be the odd one out. I don't have to be, it's technically choice, but, you know, be welcomed back into the fold. Okay. So we got a couple more froggy Alvin orcs around here. I could have used special vitality for that. Oh, whatever. Hello there, hi. One, two, three, four. Slow enough that I was able to get that down. Oh, we got more of these. What kind of Miranda flowers are these? These are... Is this poison? Or... Yeah, it's poison. Huh. Thought it might be death blight for a second. Oh, but... Oh! That's interesting. The... Headband, I mean... The Bloodhound Spang is actually lighter than the club, which is interesting given that the club has a lower, has a higher strength requirement. It is interesting that earlier Souls games had a pretty direct correlation between weapon weight and weapon strength requirement, and it's just not the case with Elden Ring in particular. That there are a lot of weapons that have much lower strength requirements than Giant's Crusher, which, at least in the base game, is the high strength requirement weapon. But weigh almost as much. And oh, it, oh, it's Sanguine Noble. Okay, cool. Oh, they're high end. Okay, well, you know, I could try to, mm, got that Dinus Vanessa up. I, okay. Thanks. What is, what kind of side armor are you wielding? I wish I could use some of those knives, but I- Oh, alright. Fun. I guess. What are these guys weak to? Thanks. Okay. Cool. It's weird. These bloody pustules, which are not scarlet rot, but something else. Cursed blood pot. Huh. And then I guess we could rest here in lots of blood rooms. It's because it is the Rose Church. Hello, Vare. There you are. Got your audience. Two fingers on the round table. Hold. Is your impression? Didn't seem right. Yep, and that's the way to join Mogwin. Serves you well. It's been piling up. Cannot be trusted. Rambling senile delusions. Shattered, corrupted, their god and skewed. And he is actually right about that. No love for our kind. Part that irks the most. Hmm. Fit for only the only for the wise. Five festering body fingers. Conventing the draw of the two fingers. Try invasion. May we meet again? My lambkin. Hmm. Finger I gave you, no reason to dither. My grace forsaken by the fingers, mend their crumbling world. These are misplaced. Finger I gave you, certain you'll take to it. I hear a scarab around here in it. It's just a health scarab, okay. So the Blood Flame Blade one was the only 
Oh, come on. I messed that up. Not like that really makes a difference, but... Is there a sight of grace around here? It's not quite seem to be the case. No case for grace. Uh, so then, we got more Albinorix around here, so... Rose Church, White Mask of our Ray. I could try invading real people. You know, we'll see. White Mask Vare. Offline. Raise quest offline. White Mask Vare. There are NPC marks you can invade. Should be nice. Other stuff. Magnus the Beast Claw and Rye the Blood Ruins. Pack of Bloodhounds. Oh, that's an Altus. So the fastest way, not lose the opportunity to fight. Okay. Huh. Okay. Not lose the opportunity to fight. Magnus the Beast Claw. Okay. Church of In Inhibition. Chapel Anticipation. Irina or Hayata. And her quest line. Blood Soaked Favor. Reusable Bloody Finger. Pure Blood Metal to the Moog boss fight. Interesting. Red Blood Ruins, and even after completing Vare's questline, marked down that I still need to fight Magnus once this is done. Let me just see. Magnus, Magnus. Yeah. Because I'll actually have to wait to fight Rykard after I get until after I get to Mountaintops of the Giants. Because if I don't some of the invasion opportunities will disappear, but you know, Hosla release. But we can still do some invasions right now. Don't see why not. Let's be a little, a little cruel. Festering body fingers. Both near and far. Let's do that. Oh well. All right. Near and far. Creating another world. Oh, and we basically drew an invasion sign. That's exciting. Let's see how well we can make this work. Excited. Where are we fighting? Oh. Okay, well. Alright. Still counted. finger I gave you, soon you'll take to it. Oh, but did it end up using that finger? It did end up using the finger, so. I think we have to do it three times. Oh, but if you're on a horse, you do it in the air. If you're not on a horse, you do it on the ground. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Here we are. Hopefully we can actually fight somebody this time. We'll see. That is Lyurnia, and where are they? Max. Over in that direction, but oh, I can't ride my horse. Okay. Hmm. If I... Is this... Or am I... Oh, well. That's some music. I don't see them, is the thing, but I... It's not a... Message. Offer madness. Presumably because she moved on, or... Oh, are they fighting a Knight's Cavalry? Oh, this is gonna be mean. I feel bad now. Yeah, okay. Cool. Bad news for you, Bucko. Oh, but you... Do you kill that finger? What? Okay, I- Okay, can I- Slam down- Can I- Oh, what? No, no, no. Die, die, and- What? What? Oh, come on. Ah. I killed their full finger. Which probably doomed them. Alright. Died returning to your world. Okay. Cool. So then, did I- no, I'm back, but I... Oh, did... 
My runes are all the way over here. Interesting. Because that's where I died. That is where I died. Oh, but if I invaded far away and then died, presumably I would. My rune stain would end up in a very inconvenient location. That's something for sure. I... That was okay. I was a bit too overzealous if I'd used... Another spell. Try to hit them from down below, maybe, and snipe them down when they haven't seen me. I could start things off with something like a fully charged frenzy burst. And that would be very, very. very cruel, but very useful, too. I. Hmm. Alright, I should use my Physic Flask for this. Would mean. Switch out and. Mix the physic. Let's put dexterity knot on there if we're going to be using Bloodhound's Fang. And that flask is now faith in dex. That's good. So I don't have a way to just directly increase physical damage is the thing. Hmm. I, I want to get at least one successful kill on a host of fingers. I won't be a real bloody finger otherwise. Oh well. Be sure I'm quite Thank you. Here's that thing. Use... Let's go near and far. So the question is whether they'd select locations that I can release you. Couldn't reach at all. Hmm. And then we Wakeside Crystal Cave. Scotty Riggs, host of fingers. Okay then. Well I let's just hop down here. Presumably they're down that way, so it's hard to tell. Oh there you are, hello then. Oh goodness. It's a gank. It's a real gank. Alright, well, hmm. This is something. How exciting. There are a bunch of them. In that case, I will take that. Heal up quick. And got you going. Oh, well, they just ran straight for the boss. Great. You know, that that is the smartest thing to do. I don't blame them. Hi. So please, you're here, enjoying my gift. From the very start, tastes renewable blood. Proper inductee. God bless. Great. Strength, vision, and love. He is actually right about that. Sure. Have it any other way? Take this. Oh? What of what's favor? With a maiden's blood, and a maiden recanting the wisdom of two fingers, anyone's maiden will do. Final trial, sick with the blood of a maiden, maidenless after all. Okay. And that. Pure white oath cloth. Final trial. Maidenless after all, so. Could kill Hyatt if you want to be funny, but the best way is just go into the Church of Inhibition. We're a dead maiden right here in Die Cloth with Blood, Word of Blood's Favor soaked, and now it's glowing too. Bloodied White Oath Cloth fully read it, and final trial is complete. What can be unto his service as a knight who will lay the foundations for his dynasty? You could actually use this to get to Moglin Dynasty Mausoleum right now. And that could be fun. Maybe. Don't want to fight Mog right now, but. <sighs> There's some good. Items to get there in particular, some incantations. Just want to see that. Cursed blood pot. With a cursed blood. Rabbit fervor. Childhood memory of the word of blood, which is interesting and sad because it suggests that. How did I get a rune pickup? Rune pickup increase effect. That's weird. So. Should get a normal bloody finger now, instead of a festering bloody finger, which 
technically is supposed to be my own finger that he rips off and gives back to me. Final trial, former inductee. Sist up new dentist, give me your finger. Immutable badge of honor once it settles inside of you. Mm. Offer finger. Oh? And then... Your teeth or something. All right. Okay. Bloody finger. Never forget feeling, of that feeling of agony. Goodness. For it is what binds you to <coughs> luminary mode, to all of us. All right then. <laughs> Closest thing to a covenant in this game. The sweetest scream, my lambkin. Okay. Oh, Should have this. Pure Knight's medal. A medal granted by the new Moguin dynasty, with the power to grant audience with Luminary Mode. That's fine. I've gone out of my way to provide one. Just go over as soon as but we want. Mustn't use it just yet. Mm. The meeting must wait until the Moguin dynasty commences. Luminary Mode yet. That would be Nicola. We must endure a little longer. Okay. Uh, so patient, does it bask in love? Well, I'm not gonna use that right now, but some stuff. It will be granted one day. Proof of a glorious night, new dynasty of Mogwin. Only is not yet time. Soldiers beside the divinity, patient, new dynasty is nigh. And use this to just teleport there if we want. Invasion of our world. Bloody finger, glistening blood has been siphoned into the nail of this finger. Sickly pale skin feels nothing now. Nilsing still aches with sweetest pain. So now we have a screwed up finger. Okay. Fun. Let's just get a real invasion kill. Of course, you only need to invade. You can immediately weave if you want once you've used... Finger, you just need to use three of them. Oh, thank you. Hello. All right. Oh, you're actually going for a fair fight. I did not intend to use that. Okay. So I. Oh, great. You mongrel. Okay. You. Oh, utter gank. What am I? How am I actually? Wait. Am I at heavy load? Oh, they're farming invaders. Okay, because I was at a... Wait. Well, I was at medium load, so... Wait. Let me just see. It's, yeah, because that's not a meaningful difference. Why was I at heavy load? What was going on? Well, Varane is gone. She's actually in Mogwin now. Near and far. Okay. Try that again, but oh no, not like that. I right, can we cancel that invasion? Let's cancel that invasion. Cause it's right. My blood stain's right over there. Let's keep on trying this. I want at least one successful invasion kill. But I probably need to go and get some Balfi relatively soon. Maybe. But so the big question is Yep, yeah, right there. What I do with the metal is there is a swarm of flies incantation in the mausoleum area. Basically the equivalent of Nah. Thank you, thank you. I'll need it. So you're right there. There's this flask. Monty, her host of fingers. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, to be fair, I don't need to fight at all. Oh yeah, well, because you have to be in order to do anything at all. So can I... 
Thanks. Uh, oh, all right. Thanks. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's a DLC Spirit Ash. What in the... Why do I... Oh, that's what's going on. I don't have the Rune Arc effect active when I'm invading. Oh, okay. I was wondering why I had load issues. That makes sense. Yeah, that was... Savage Alliance Claw, I believe. Which actually is arguably not as good as normal Lion's Claw. Well, yeah, so what I should do is unequip that. That way I'll be at the right amount of wood no matter what I do. And that explains what was going on. And that explains why my efforts were so abortive. Okay, let's try this again. <clears throat> Oh, you talked to Varre again after the quest. The bloody finger he gives you is just infinite use. That's the deal with it. Uh, do I have Bandish Knight and Greaves? Yeah, yeah. It's nice. I do like the Bandish Knight set. It does have a good amount of drip. Hmm. So now that we know what the issue was, let's get something going. Oh, Altus. Oh, this is... This might be bad. If I don't make it work, this is going to be quite bad. Okay. Because I'm not going to be able to get up here. Those runes are just going to be gone. So where are they? I see some people walking and jumping around. If I can get enemies involved, if I were really funny, maybe I could get them over by the tree sentinel. Maybe. I don't have a map here. Maybe I should have gone nearby only. Maybe. Hmm. But if I die here, and I probably will, it's just kind of, I'm kind of SOL. So where do they even go? That's the question. Maybe. Probably by the side of Grace. Let's see. Yeah. Unless you have really good AoE. AoE can make up some of the difference, but only so much you can do. I bet I could. With this fall. Yeah, okay, nice. Cool. Cool. Alright. Come on. Second Church of America, and... Clearly they're gonna just try to gank me around. Got the dog involved, that could be useful. Just playing hide and seek. They're just playing hide and seek with me. I uh, okay. Cool. I can see you. Host of Fingers, Alice Loop. Well, that's them. Okay, cool. Oh, dog. Okay, cool. Thanks, and... Hmm. Thanks. All right. I, okay. Can I slam? And okay. I, what? Huh? 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 Oh my goodness! Wait for the dog to do this. I, okay. Cool. Dodge. Uh, you've got to be kidding. Can I? Hmm. Go over it. What are you doing? Can I? Okay. Nice. And dodge. Thank you. And kill. Kill. Okay. I, oh my goodness. My goodness. I, okay. Cool. And. Uh, you, uh, you mongrel. What in the, how did that hit me? How did that hit me? I, what in the, okay. Hmm. It's time to keep on running. Get the wolf involved, that might help. Exactly. Got more dogs. And I, hmm. Thanks, and two, three, and, okay. Could have kept that going, maybe. But I, hmm. We eliminate your... Uh, furled finger, we- Oh my goodness, okay. Hmm, I- alright. Can I- <clears throat> Oh, they're using DLC weapons too, aren't they? This is something. Why am I an Altus? 
Why am I an Altus? I okay. Can I Okay, alright, and thanks. Oh, did No, no. Okay, cool. Worm face. Oh, but I can't alert them. This is stupid. If I can get the worm faces to engage them, I will be in an okay position, but. Special vitality is good. Mm hmm. Oh my good god, I hate you. Uh, well, those are all just gone. I don't have a way to access them. And that. <clears throat> That was annoying. Because it... I can't get there. <laughs> I don't have the Dectus Medallion. Okay. Whatever. It's... I could, but I would have to do that without dying or while equipping Sacrificial Twigs. But... I just don't want to go to Aldis right now. I really don't. That rune stand is gone. That's on me for invading far. Of all the things that have happened today, this is certainly one of them. At least it didn't break my rune artifact. Now that would be annoying. Oh, Dragon Barrow, that's fun. Okay, cool. Samayo. This is... Where are we right now? That's the question. Oh, yeah. Always. Oh, I, I used the wrong thing again. A flask instead of a... I'm stupid. Oh, there and just... Oh, well, alright. Annoying. Cool, and just slam and... Can I... Wait, what? Huh? What? Really? Okay. Thanks. Oh, that poke is actually brutal. Hmm. Can I... And... Oh my... Wow! Okay. Dodge it. Oh. The imbecile. I... What I should have done is just... Dodge. Okay. Gotten in here. Getting here. In. Thank you. Cool. Help out with the... Winged dudes. Hmm. Can I slam or not? Okay, can I? Uh, never mind. Hmm. Some of this then. Can I? Okay, nice. Keep on moving. Are you out? Is he out? He may be out. He's not out. Okay. Take advantage of this. Figure out who I can... Oh, come on. You got that tier. You gotta be kidding me. Come on. I... Alright. Thanks. And can we... Slam. Break that. That was good. And... Can I... Thanks. And... Uh, it's too predictable. Can I... Mm. Can I... I don't have much there. I... Maybe I just need to use Frenzy Burst. It's an idea. And... Oh, good. That's good. Thanks, and... Frilled Finger died. Cool. We're in an okay position, then. Let's try this. You gonna try to summon again? You gonna try to summon again? I bet you are. Bet you are. Okay, cool. Thanks. Hmm, someone's got Bestial Vitality. Oh my goodness. Well, I... Dodge and... Uh. Or not. Or not. I'm at a disadvantage here. I do not intend to... Stay at disadvantage. Okay, cool. That's a good spell to have. But I... And... Mm, getting close up here. I'm gonna keep things out of your way. Hmm. Uh, wait as long as you like. That said, I'm sure that he is just going to kill me. I, it'd be fun to try poking with pots, but 
It's not what I want to do right now. Dodge. Mm -hmm. I might have been able to jump over that and go for it. Thanks. Jump over that and go for it. Quick swing. But. I. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Can I. Uh, revenge on that is leaving a bit to be desired. Okay. Go for your poke. Try to poke at me with blade wave or something. Come on. Hmm. Really? You've got to be kidding. Thanks. Okay, alright. And just... Can I... Slam... How you... You've got to be kidding. Okay. They... They're summoning someone else. I... Don't have a good way to do any of that. So I... One... Two... I, uh, come on! Same guy as before. You've got to be kidding. Okay, they're... they're friends. They're definitely friends. Okay. And I killed him once. I'm able to sit... top over here or something. Annoying. Thanks, and... alright. Cool. And can I... Thanks, and... Ugh. Can I... Can I... Slam down. One. Two. Almost dead, and can I... Cool, cool, just run over and... There we go, killed you. You're dead again. But that special vitality is going to be crucial. Some of that back, good. Thank you. Then... Don't have enough for the blood flame, though, is the issue. Yeah! That wasn't... Yeah. Real problem there. Okay, fun. Alright. Somebody is running out of resources. That's exciting. And... Hmm. Come on, come on. And, and try to summon anyone else, or and what you gonna do? What you gonna do? It's two on one. It's two on one. And... Alright. Cool. And... Slam. Or not. Thank you. Run in. Ah. Thanks. Can we... Nice, and can we... Uh, I guess I can't. Hmm. There's something running, and I want to... Hmm. Now that blood flame building up, and I... Thanks. Uh. Hmm. What if I... Thanks. Thanks. And, okay, alright, and... Dodge. Hmm. And try to summon another cooperator, or what? Let's get that bestial vitality back up. Thank you. This is... Really coming down to it. I feel like... For this guy, this must feel like a real boss fight. Honestly. You know, it's... You can summon more cooperators all you like. It'll only do you so much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on. I think he must be out of Cerulean, is the thing. Whoever moves first loses. Really? Really? Okay. Come on, you- okay. Hmm. Alright, and... Set. Oh, well, I- Oh, my goodness. Stop acting smug, you got summoned three times. Son of a bitch. Okay. Well, it's over right here. Oh, you know. Oh, yeah. It's, de it's, that's the point. It's not supposed to be. The invader's not supposed to win. The invader's supposed to be an obstacle for the player and their friends to overcome. But. Hmm. In the end, Bloodhound Spang just is not a good PvP weapon. <laughs> it's not supposed to be.
Maybe I should have gone for parries. Eh. I need one successful PvP kill. That's all I'm asking for. That's all I'm asking for. Yeah. And that guy was lagging out something horrible. As I'm sure you can see. Connection between us was not particularly good. Hmm. Moonstone Precipice is right there, but I'll be taking my time with that. Give me an opportunity to invade near and far, but I guess most people are just in the DLC right now. And I don't think you can invade in the DLC until you actually access the Land of Shadow. Hmm. Well, alright. It's just... I got that bloody finger. Give me one PvP kill. One measly PvP kill. And... Well, that did not quite work. Can I... Can I... Thanks. It's just shock this squid in this octopus. One. Two. Oh, wow. That was good. So slashing damage, I guess, is even more effective than piercing. Not that it matters much. Okay. Let's detentacle these guys. And can we... There we are. There we are. Though it might just be because of how upgraded this weapon is in comparison. And there we go. It... I have a lot more fun fighting giant lang octopuses than I should, maybe. Maybe. But I... Maybe they decided that I suck and that I don't get to invade people anymore. That would be sad. So the question is, do I go to Mogwin now or... I think the Academy Crystal Cave is somewhere around here. Also Smarag, somewhere over this way. One Stone Dragon. It's a question. Boil Prawn Shack should be over here, which, which should mean a Rise questline, but... Come on, let me kill someone. I mean, let me fight someone and die instead of killing them. That's my goal. My only goal. To make a fool of myself. Well, whatever. I guess we'll just... We tried! We got kinda close. Elden Ring is definitely, unless you have good AoEs, there's not much you can really do as an invader. It is, because literally unless you use a Taunter's Tongue, there is absolutely nothing that lets you get invaded as a solo player, which a lot of people have talked about this, so that <clears throat> they don't like the balance that Elden Ring strikes in terms of invasions. Because they didn't like getting invaded all the time. Which is what happened in Dark Souls and especially Demon Souls. Because Dark Souls has an invasion timer. So after you get invaded, there's a bit of a duration where you just can't get invaded again. Unless you use something like the... I forget what it was called, the whatever finger of it. The whatever finger of it. Oh, a curved great claw. So you get invaded again. Dex lacks dexterity demanded by a curved sword. Card shaped like a crescent moon. For the add weight, destructive force, barbaric roar. That's interesting. That's not bad. But it... Not as good as... My... Hammer. It's my large club. At least not right now. Heavy large club in that... Mmm, -mm. it's got deck scaling too, which is interesting. Hmm. This is probably a better option in the long run. But eventually in the end, I'm going to switch to Inferno Krajir most likely anyway, so it doesn't matter all that much. Okay. I wonder if that Sanguine Noble is coming back. Probably not. But as I was saying, just wondering... 
And oh, he does come back. He responds. Okay then. All right. So, oh, all right then. Then, okay. But it doesn't have any kind of. Well, there we go. Cool. And okay, he disrupts blood roses. Varre is no longer here. But you know, in Elden Ring, you basically never get invaded. In Dark Souls, you arguably get invaded. Demon Souls, you. Arguably get invaded too much. In Demon Souls, you pretty much definitely get invaded too much. But there are people who miss, you know, in other Souls games, just getting invaded occasionally. And I would say, I think a lot of it was just the specific circumstances of my playthrough of Dark Souls 2, where the game was kind of dead. But to be fair, I did get a decent amount of invasions and DLC areas and all these keep. But just getting invaded occasionally by myself. And that was fun. That was fun. Especially since, given the fact that Dark Souls 2 was arguably... The Souls games, Souls game where an equal stats build was... The least awful, I would say. Because in Elder Ring, part of it is just... The game is so long that you start reaching... Soft caps by the end of the game just by leveling up normally so there's less of a downside in sort of specking into multiple things because you just you get so many levels because the game is just that long but dark souls 2 in particular has oh goodness i okay cannot mm, i did not quite cut, cut off how am i not cutting off okay Weird, okay, weird. Guess I need to strike them a bit closer to the base. But uh stuff like hexes and weird, okay. Okay. Oh, alright. Mm -hmm. Like hexes and pyromancies deliberately. Dark Souls 3 is a bit similar with how it runs pyromancies, but a bit less so, especially since the requirements for pyromancies tend to be generally just one stat or the other. Though, to be fair, the same is kind of true with hexes in Dark Souls 2, but hexes are just so good in Dark Souls 2 that it incentivizes at least an intelligence and faith multi-build. And if you have a weapon that scales decently on an attacking stat, because especially since the way that they do... Come on. The way they, that they do weapon buffs in Dark Souls 2 makes them work a lot better with heavy weapons. So I was running a big great sort of dark damage, and that scaled it very well, very well, off of three out of the four attacking stats. And I think a lot of it was also just... They balanced it a bit more around having multiple stats, in part because they added ADP. Which, you know, determined your dodge frame, so you really, really wanted to have some kind of <clears throat> you know, unless you wanted to be silly and maybe just use armor you had to spec into arguably at least one more stat than normal compared to other souls games which was never really a problem for me but still because i would have been leveling everything anyway but Poor fellow gone perfectly mad. War revenge. Love revenge. Frenzied flame melts it all away. It's talking about Edgar and the Revenger Shack, I believe, but... What was over... If there was something over here, presumably it would have been smithing stones that I already got. I, I don't have enough of the small ones, but... I do honestly feel like leveling up the curved great club while I have the chance... What still would arguably be somewhat useful. Would be pretty good at taking out enemies with stance damage. This is just a stance breaking tool. Because it is a great hammer, which is only a little worse than a colossal weapon hammer type. And oh, wow. Big cartwheel. Thank you. Oh, but you have poise during that attack. Okay, then. Suit yourself. And an albinoric blood clot. Lots and lots of funny frogmen around here. 
I guess the question is... Do you consider Albinorks to be cute? I think... They are cute in a weird, uncanny sort of way. I think they're a problem, that to be. That over there is... What is this? That's the question. I see some Miranda flowers, but besides that, I... Don't quite know. Am I going for... Chump attacks on these stupid octopuses. Oh, come on, my goodness. Well, they're not hurting there. Brethren, because they count, count as being on the same team, so I... Okay. Great, and... Mm, that was tough. Can I... Thank you, and can I... Again, thanks. Oh, but... That second one hit the body more than the head. Interesting, so... Piercing attacks are very good at hitting the head, but it might be... If hitting a bit above the head with a piercing weapon will still count as a head hit, but hitting very close on the same horizontal plane with this sword does not, presumably it might be about the sort of distance away from it rather than closest to it sort of in the outside of the inside of the body instead of sort of left or right of the head. It's possible. Hmm. It is interesting how they make hitboxes work in this game, and I... Cool. There we go. Just another hit. One. Two. And another. Jump attack should do it. So I need to be a little far away. Just a little. I do find it kind of interesting that... There are rune bears who serve as bosses. There are no land octopuses as bosses. Though to be fair, it might be because there aren't really good spots, I guess, in that. Come on. Oh, oh I, that did not hit anything. Okay. There aren't really dungeons where they have. Come on, come on. And another jump. The water that it would need. Because you only ever encounter these guys on beaches or in water. Bodies of water is the thing. Come on. Okay. Slice and... Oh, please. Well, you know, we got that. That works. Kinda. Cool. Mm hmm. Cool. These guys have no business being this brutal. Now, we have one more foul foot because I wasted a few like an idiot during a couple of invasions, which means I need to uh, farm a few more after whatever the next dungeon or boss is, which is probably either going to be Smarag or... Oh my goodness. And, okay. Thanks. And, ah. Uh, and, okay. Either Smurag or Crystallians in the Academy Tunnel. Well, I... Okay. Thank you. I don't think that was believed, but... Okay, cool. Interesting. Just keep on jumping. Oh, come on. And roll, roll, and... Thanks, and can I run in? Thrash it. Oh, my goodness. All right. Super thing almost killed me. Okay. No, fuck. One... Slam and go for the. There we are. Brutally tough. And there we go. Cool. <laughs> Wonder if there might be anything in here to make it worth it. I hear it's just little guys. Okay, cool. See yourself. Then. Okay, another. Little land octopus. Just on the side of whatever this is, then. Sideway. So what is over here other than a bunch of albinorics? Well, there's a side of grace. Some sort. Okay. Hmm. I know that somewhere some information about... There's a map that sends you to. Smarag, but... Temple Quarter. So then. Temple Quarter and- oh, hello! 
Miranda Flower. Put a Blood Flame Blade on here. Shouldn't be as tough to deal with as the Madness ones over in that other. By Frenzy Flame Village. Okay, cool. And. Well, alright. Oh, we aren't poisoned. That's good. Cool. And. Slam. And. Oh, my goodness. Okay, cool. Slam. And. Slam. Actually, I don't really need to deal with that. Okay, cool. Thanks. And then. None of that yet. Go over and where? Cracked Crystal and Miranda Powder. Okay. Slam. Slam. Then we. Mm -hmm. Slam. Slash. Another Miranda. Decently far away. Poison Bloom. At least they don't deal. Their quads don't do damage like the Lancewood ones do. What is over this way then? This is. Just a Rhyme Crystal Bud and a couple more. All oh, the Norix and. Oh my goodness. Okay. Bad news for me. Okay. Fun. Hmm. And I, for one, I need to re-enchant my weapon. What am I going to get from taking these guys out is the question. I, okay. Hmm. Uh -huh. uh, Rebel Blade is a decent weapon for policing. Or at least it was, if I recall correctly. They nerfed it significantly in the patch where they added the DLC. Okay, cool, and out of the way, and, can I, well, alright, that was lame. Damage was good, but I, okay, cool, hmm, ah, range was good, but it wasn't perfect, and it messed me up, and I, oh, we were low enough to just, for it to go over him, that's fun, okay, one, two, and who else, just gonna be over here in Temple Quarter, anything of note? Poison Bloom. Should be around the Crystal Cave, presumably. And die. Die. Okay, even without Blood Flame, we're doing fine for ourselves. But I... Hmm. I feel like jumping up on those roofs might be useful. Oh, there's something in here. This is... What is this? It's, oh, the Ice Rind Hatchet. It's got no intelligence scaling, barely enough for Frost Sun. Castle Soul in the Distant North, Frost Coated Void, Freezing Fog, thought to be a Dragon Scale, that's because it's a scale, presumably, of Borealis, the Freezing Fog, probably Frost Effect. Just miss on the ground, applies the Frost Status Effect. And that is a way to cheese some bosses, if I recall correctly. Particularly, it's good against God Skins, which we should be okay against, given the how. It's gonna be a lot more durable. And the gods can find I do this playthrough than the one I did with the mage build, to say the least. A quarter in it. Originally, when I first played the game, I thought that looked like a shipwreck. It's clearly not, it's just a submerged town area, but it's still funny. Now, that does deal some damage, but the damage ticks stop a lot earlier than the equivalent in. Stop a lot earlier than the equivalent with land squirts, buttresses. Interesting. Hmm. Keep on moving. See if I can get up on top of any of these. And I can, but don't think there'd be anything. It's a sanctuary. No, these are three Mikola's lilies. Don't even know what I'd do with those. Not much, honestly. Oh, lag spike. That's not good. Anything up here or no, nothing. Hmm. How am I gonna? Maybe it was because railway car was in range, but there are people who have commented on game performance being a bit worse after the DLC patch. Hmm. Can get that hatchet though, but. And Horfrost Stomp should do magic damage, but if it doesn't scale on anything, that'd be funky. What's over here? What's over here? As in, if it doesn't scale with intelligence, that would be funky. Because normally, 
We would get it from giving a weapon the cold affinity, but there is the question of how it would work with Ice Run Hatchet if the weapon itself does not have base scaling with intelligence. This is no hidden path ahead, yeah. Not mean to do it like that. You always gotta check though. You really always have to check. Then we got more Miranda flowers over here, but I don't really use those pots. Hmm. Alright. Alright then. Let's poke around this edge over here, but I don't think the Academy. Cause okay, but that did not show up on the map. That little gazebo. So then let's see. Anything else over this way or are we just doing nothing? This is a Oh, there's a rune bear right here. My favorite enemy. Okay. Let's just use Blood Flame Blade on it. Or I could actually Frenzy Burst would be okay, but I'm wondering and I'm worrying. Hi! Okay, nice. And... Oh, please. That didn't hit. Gotta be kidding. Neither of those hit. What? Okay. Gotta be kidding me. Oh, okay. Well, that killed that thing. No way not. Dodge. Oh, dodge. And <clears throat> dodge. And can I... Mm -hmm. Thanks. And can I... Slash. Slash. And... Dodge. One. Two. Three. Can I slam again? Oh, nice. We got the critical. Bear critical. One. And a big bleed on it, too. Okay. Nothing all that special there, but... Whenever I kill a, see a rune bear, I always feel like I have to kill it to avenge all the times that rune bears killed me in the past. You know, and given that... They're no longer deliberately meant to be, you know, enemies who are too spicy. You know, I... Thank you. I will take that as a compliment. Because it was one. Those things suck. Golden Rune and... Oh, it's another Miranda Flower. And... Oh, a magic Miranda Flower. What in the... Okay. What are you doing? What are you doing? These are interesting for sure. I didn't know they had magic Miranda flowers. That's funky for sure. One. And before you do that, we will, well, we'll slice you down before the rest shows up. But, oh, if you're close, they don't really hit you. Oh, if you're far away, they hit you more easily. Back to Bristol. Golden runes. Thanks. And wonder if there's going to be anything in here other than... Skull and Roots, because sometimes they've got cookbooks and these little coffin yards. Golden Rune. We need more light. But if you know what you're doing, or in my case, just get lucky, Bloodhound's finesse can be really, really good against Rune Bears. Just, you know, letting you get a quick hit, in, quick hit in, dodge out of the way, and then get back in for another, especially since... Bloodhound's Finesse, actually, on the step back in, has some iframes. But, it is a little finicky. But, it also deals 22 stance damage per hit, which is about the same as a... Which is the same as a jumping heavy attack for each one, and it is... It's more interruptible and more risky, but it deals more damage, and I... It might even be faster. At the very least, the DPS is better. So, if you have an opportunity to pull it off and know what you're doing, it is really, really good. I enjoy using it. That's for sure. Come on, come on. One. Two. Three. And can I... Mm, we lost the opportunity. Two. Okay. Okay. Big thing, though, is it takes up a lot of stamina. I did not intend to get that critical. I'll take it. Hmm. So what's over in this gazebo? If I can't see the gazebo, my first instinct is to assume it's something good. Can't see on the map, that is. Eh, just smithing stones. Not bad, but not amazing. 
Lots of Miranda flowers here for whatever reason. Yeah, we got that. Then we... Mm -mm. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, come on up. All right. One, two. Small one's gonna do cartwheel. But they don't do the jumping cartwheel that the big ones do, which is good, because stuff is crazy. And you're the only one here right now. Okay. Thanks, Slam. And no poison at the moment. I think poison might stop the spores. I'm not quite sure. Quite sure. I'm... All right, and can we slam and just go around and avoid some of the magic by way of getting the critical eye frames? Cool. A couple more flowers. Mm -mm. Feel like feel like the lands between's weirdest gardener. And okay, fire to keep some of you from attacking. And oh, we need. Blood point, that's right. Sometimes it'll try to slap me, but just prevent that relatively simply. There we go, and just slam. Cool, and oh, well, alright. Thanks. Now we can just stay out of the way of that. Keep on moving, it shouldn't hit me. Cool. Poison bloom. And then, and then. Did you get those already? I think I did. Well, you know. If they're here, they're dead. Enjoy death. Thank you, thank you. Is there anything over on this pathway? Well, I'll get over there when I actually do my exploration of Gate Town and find Mr. Diallos. <clears throat> Diallos' armor set is one of the most stylish in the game, if not the most stylish, for being one of the better sort of armor coat combinations. I won't be able to get it until a good deal later, but I do want it. You know, of course, I could just kill him immediately, but that's no fun. That would require failing his quest line. Come on, come on. I, all right. Thank you, thank you, and... Thanks, one... Two... Then we... One... Two, and... All right. Die. Okay. Another one you down. This Miranda flower over there should be the only one left. And was there any real objective or reward for killing them all? Oh, definitely not, but you know, it was an interesting idea. Conceptually, it was fun. So, oh, but interestingly enough, maybe it was because of a lack of aggro, but it seems like, oh my goodness. Okay, thanks. In the end, I should probably actually take a Rata Seal off. Relatively soon, or at least upgrade a Sore Seal. But I can at least get more damage out of it. That, is that a... It's not a Landscript, right? It's just a... Yeah, it's just a tree. Okay, so we go back to Temple Quarter, sweep up through here. Seeing that stuff. <clears throat> should be some Crystallians, I think. Nearby. That. Miranda powder. Miranda pollen not yet scattered into the air. Hmm. Temple quarter. Over here, I believe, is going to be the whereabouts of Smarag. But I think the crystal tunnel should also be around here, too. Ready and short. Horseback battle required ahead. Gorgeous view. So then, so then. So we got that rune stain over it. You know, if it's right there, I may as well go over to far off and get that rune stain back. I'll need to go over there eventually and having the little bit of <clears throat> having the teleport more initially could be nice. And actually, if I wanted to. I could just get the other Radagon seal right here. That's another thing I could do. It's in that same place. Hmm. Going around avoiding too much fall damage. Okay, no fall damage. 
Actually a bit of a surprise to me. Go over around that, sort of ride that wall. Doesn't see me yet, which is good. Lead me over to Fort Faroth, where I could get the other half of the Dectus Medallion. Honestly, I think I will. Is that a dragon just that must be a lesser dragon. Dectus Medallion. Chant and Winged Danes in there too, which I think they're actually weak as lightning. And they're dragon. Oh, and there's Grail, but you're not fighting her right now. Yep. Uh, maybe I could. Uh, no, I can't. I'll do it on my way through, Kayla, right after we up before Ultis, but not like that. Not like that. Here we are, Fort Faroth. It really is far off. So I think that, if I recall correctly, these guys are weak to lightning. Maybe. And well, that worked okay. Cool. Let's get our Starlight back on. Oh, goodness. Right, you need the other one. It is still annoying that that the spell cast with animation is ungodly long. Which, you know, it's deliberately a penalty, but still. Lightning Spear and... Hello, hello. Come on. And... Oh, but I still have Faith Shrouding Cracked here, right? I've got... Yeah, that should be... No, it's Faith and Dexterity. Okay. Well, whatever. Thanks. And, oh, well, not if that misses. Okay. That's a Winged Dame. And this is going to be something... Really? Poison? You've got to be kidding. Let's use our boluses. And... Okay. Hmm. Some of this. And can I... Hmm. Take and... Alright. Did a good amount of damage, but I really, really... Go so far. Come on. I... Alright, I... Okay, you are actually really, really spicy. Don't like this at all. Can I... Okay, can I slam down and... You can kind of... Do... Oh, you can knock them out of the air. It's exciting. That was a decent choice then. Got some stuff. We could get Dactus too, maybe. Just to be silly. Here's other things up here is the thing. And one, two, three, four, five, five, six. Okay, well, we killed the dame, which is the important thing. And I. Okay, come on, come on. Uh, hit these bats. It's about so much. And I, slam. Alright. Mmm. So much damage. Okay, and can I just get some of you through the wall? And, alright. Other one is right there. Slam. Hmm. Slam. Alright, and is this a. Oh, because it's a winged dame, not a bat. Okay, cool. Fun. <clears throat> some of that backwards is good. And Golden Rune 9. That's actually very, very useful. <clears throat> Turn bully for the people with the patel. <clears throat> Around here, though. Golden Rune. Let's go claim the other half of our funny medallion. Some other guys over on the other side. But then, if they're banished knights, we want piercing damage. Okay. Oh, but I. Oh, right, I'm poisoned. Right. Okay. Never mind. That's what was going on. Forgot to cure my poison because I was too busy fighting the dame. So actually, what's Bestial Vitality? And then, and then... Necessary item ahead? Well, arguably. Dectus Medallion of Right. Joint with Crystal Ford High to the far west. Then we... Come on, come on. Starlight? Should be some more guys over here, including... Spectral Banish Knights. Summoning. Hello? Hello? Should be over here, I think. You're behind it. There you are. One. Oh, nice. Well, actually, you're just... Godric. Actually, 
Are these red mains? They're probably red mains. They use similar, similar weaponry. Hi. Okay. Mm -mm. It's got some actual durability here. Oh, there we go. Nice. And just... Can we... Yep, there we go. Cool. And just... Stab again. Good amount of runes. Healing a place a bit early. Radagon seal should be in here. I would presume. There we go, and... Yep, yep. <clears throat> just hit you while you're... Wake it up, and yeah, that's Dance Break. Smoldering Butterfly from them. Oh, but you can jump up on that. That is impressive. Can't use the Force here, though. If you don't run into them, you can run onto them. Okay. And anything here? Well, can get on that, but there's no point to it. Okay, hello. All right, thank you. This... When I went to Fort Theroth on my mage build, these guys were nearly impossible. I can just stance break critical and it's honestly just kind of sad. And alright, thanks. Are they more vulnerable to stance damage on a wake up or what is it? I guess it's possible, but come on. And thanks. I guess they just, they're weaker to stance it. Well, because these are actually just soldiers, not knights. It's just... Since they're so far above my pay grade right now... It feels like I shouldn't be able to stance break them this easily, but... They are just soldiers, not knights. Hmm. Should be a ladder somewhere in that... Hello, then. Hello. It's these execution grounds. That... Oh, okay. Well, hello. And stab. Alright, and kill. But to get the other stuff, I'm gonna have to climb that ladder again. I just want to take that guy out before. Maybe got ganked from behind. Okay. But I... <clears throat> there must be one more enemy there. If I haven't gotten a flash charge back, presumably there should be one more guy lying in wait somewhere. I would think. Maybe. Let's put our Starlight back up. Come on, come on. Any more red mains or... Okay, there! There you are. This might be the last one. Killed a lot of them with a weird spirity blood. Okay, cool. And yep, that was presumably the final one. Let's go down here. Then, this is enemy ahead. Ahead? Who's gonna be here then? Oh, oh, it's just a rat. Okay, cool. Goofy our rat. Then, Christopher writes, this is Golden Rune 12. Oh wow, Grace of Gold, first served with the most vivid coloration. Get over to here, though. The platform around, yeah. That was interesting. A few more rats. Be wary of a rat. More like, be wary of a rat. Two, three, four, five. And oh my goodness, you are dangerous. Thanks, and can I... Cool. Boys break the rat, critical the rat. And this rat may actually be the toughest thing I fight here. And, alright. Thank you. But with stance breaks, we can stagger it, guarantee damage. That's not a problem. So then, this should be Radagon. Yep, right here we got Radagon Sore Seal. His attributes increase his damage taken with Legendary Talisman. I agree with an Elden Rune set of his seal we can consort. Greatly raises, increases damage taken by a similar measure. Nine curse from which there is no deliverance. And this. Lifelong duty versus lifelong curse. And see that it's deeper. Much deeper, but we get a bit more vigor and a bit more. This is meaningful. This is still a meaningful increase where I am. I'll take that. 
So we got that, and I guess we go back to Weirnia now. Level up a few times, but... <sighs> Big thing is whether I want to use... What I want to use to engage Smarag. Probably still the Great Epe. I got not enough to take it to 12, though, is the thing. Can get another level. Let's get a bit more endurance. Okay. Gotta love that more max equipment load, and that is decent. Oh, but they don't match. Not, not in the slightest. I could just wear Royal Remain stuff. That works just fine. Oh, but that's not that heavy. Heaviest armor I've got. It's gone. What's up, Godins? Uh, the Royal Remains Greaves are. Uh, they still look stupid. Can't tolerate that. Hmm. This looks decent. It's okay. Or a helmet, then. This helmet, Ashivor Scarab, and. Cut and roll remains at home, but. Uh, none of those look nearly good enough. Okay. It's always about the drip. Phew, <laughs> should be Smarag, but. Big question is my Misericord. Criticals. Termination. That. Hmm. <laughs> I could level up the Misericord a bit more, which that would be useful. Take it to plus eight at least. Which hmm. be some time until I can get other stuff, but it should be my best critical tool. Crit stick. And just because of the crazy 140 damage percent multiplier, which to be fair, to be fair. Eventually, Executioner's Grid actually get better in the end, but not yet. Don't have enough smithing stones for that. Question is if I have this thing, and I mm, I'd have to do it at a set of grace to really see it accurately. Hmm. But dragon should be relatively close by. Just think. I mean, Smarag map. Map would take you to... Smarag map. Dragon. Something that led me to... Well, I'll be alright. Smarag hint map. It's supposed to be a map you get that sends you to the location of the key, but... It's an item. Hmm. Maybe if I talked to... don't imagine who I would have talked to before who I hadn't talked to previously. Maybe if I went to... Maybe to Thops. Might have something to say about that. About the whereabouts of the Glintstone King? <clears throat> I bought all his stuff. Even though it did lead to getting duplicate spells, which is funny. Keep on going. If Bernal can go about it without a helmet, I can do it too. Hello then, hello. Of course, and about the Glintstone King. Basu never reached the capital, but... Okay. Huh. Glintstone Key. Academy Glintstone Key. And that... Let me just see. Academy Glintstone Key. And Dragon Smarag. But I. It can't be a Mandela effect kind of thing. I distinctly remember a map telling me where to look for Smarag. Coordinates, every edition. Map Smarag. That. Am I going crazy? I may be going crazy. I. I could check on my old mage file. It'd be funny if they just took it out of the game. 
<clears throat> but I feel like I feel like I'm being gaslit. They're doing this just to hurt me specifically. Big question is if I two hand this, it's 179. But make it daytime. Hundred seventy-nine. Girl boss. Seventy-nine versus one eighty-five. This is eighty-five versus. No, Keen is the best. This is wait, wait. Oh, but it's because now I've got it in. One hand, presumably, but if I... It's 185. Okay. Let's check the others. Ashes of War. 85 versus... No, that's worse. 5 versus... 185. 183. Heavy is still the best. He, he ran afoul of... <clears throat> Britain's knife laws, I heard about that. <clears throat> Which is... <clears throat> but it was a... It, beyond just not being... Anything in time to be dangerous, it was also literally a fidget toy. Which... Yeah. Hmm. So where is that cave? In the end, that... That's very political, and I would honestly prefer to shy away from that. Oh, but, oh, the crystal cave is past this. Okay. Maybe I could try using the lance if I wanted to. Maybe. That's all, but all of these guys are just FP scarabs. Well, because we have to use two. For, for various reasons. I, I'm not going to get into it, but yes, it is political. I had to use two to get into the Academy Crystal Cave. Okay. Let's take out Crystallians at the end. I could maybe use a lance on. It, yeah, it. It's a pointless discussion. It it can, it fundamentally cannot lead anywhere good. <laughs> okay. It is interesting that they have a lot of FP scarabs around here. Which. Given that they have so many, and that magic isn't all that useful here. Was it yours, or...? That sounds painful. Okay. Early flower. Right, right. I think you might have mentioned that. It's scary. So... Hmm... <clears throat> I'm not sure how much longer society makes it, honestly. And try target lock, seek sorcery. Hmm. Oh, but actually, if I... What hand spang would be good here? Hmm. Hmm. One. So I guess, presumably, it would be for... Light? Maybe. Thank you. It... People are also just... The discussion fundamentally cannot lead anywhere good. That's what I'll say. Missed ahead. And then... Thank you! These guys don't go down pretty quickly. And then we... Uh, uh. One, two. Sorcerer leggings and... 
So there's a sorcery symbol cloth around the legs. One, two, and mmm. What if I... Mm, oh, all right. Okay. I think one of them was a twin sage. Oh, we actually got the coincidence staff drop. But I just can't wield it yet. Turquoise, going stone. Recognize sorcerers. Permitted to wield it. Hmm. And then... Cave Moss and Cuckoo Glint Stone. Okay. Stealth ahead. Enemies to Cave. Weak Foe ahead. Academy Glint Stone Staff. And then... Hmm. Can we get around this way or... Let's see. Okay. Oh, and another Twin Sage one. But these are... He's in Comet Shard, I think. Should be Crystallins at the end of here. Here ends. Mm. Okay. Oh my, no, I've already been through that part. This hole. No enemy ahead. Or, so what is this? This is, well, we got more stuff, so... Liar ahead. Presumably someone lied about a path. Hold tears. Ah, stone sword key. So we got one back, which is good. Sort of a partial refund off of the two that we spent to get in here, but we already have... We have 12. We're okay. We're not in a fraught position via via that. Keep on moving. Okay. Where we have left. Keep on moving and... So, this is going to be shooting at me. This is one of these already, but what are you? Oh, you're... Oh, interesting. What is... No, really? What is... Oh, it's a Haima. A Haima guy. Oh, wow. Okay. They had a lot of poise using that spell. Oh, wow. Okay. That was funky. Huh. Dodge. Mmm. Slam down. I wonder how much damage Gavel would have done to me if it actually connected. Oh, but also at the end of this, I should also get one of the best spells in the game. It's going to be Terra Magica. Hello, then. This is... Oh? Ah, oh, just a rune arc. To get over there is the question. Am I going to do that? Oh, but I... Yeah, there we go. We're through well. Should mark this thing. And all this really was was that, but okay, cool. Hmm. Okay. Is this and oh, is there a well ahead? Oh, hidden path ahead. Spirit Spring Stone Astral Lane, Bird's Eye Telescope Sending Gate. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Here is places hidden path. No concepts. Concepts. It's hidden path. Phrases in these directions. Places. No hidden path situations. Okay, hidden path. Okay, it was in situations. That is bizarre. Well, I, I guess they were gone because I was in combat. Maybe. Maybe just you would have needed a script stone. Ah, crystal staff. Interesting. Crystalline sorceries. Indeed impossible for a human. Nate cogitation wisdom stone. Was it like high enough to grasp it? And I don't have that. Okay. <clears throat> and frankly, crystalline sorceries aren't really good anyway. Let's put... Best of Vitality in real quick. And then... Okay. Keep on going. Taking them down. I don't have the right tier is the thing. Spear and Staff. We use this to get in the way. We should be... Okay, maybe, but I... Oh my goodness. Alright. Annoying. Mmm. Okay. Mm. Two and dodge. Can we... Stab, uppercut, and to break your stance. You are a joke. 
One. Two. And did I... Okay, cool. Slam. Everything will stagger them now. So lesson in brief stance. Can I... And... Dodge your crystal torrent and... Oh my goodness. Okay, can I... Actually... You can backstab them. That's fun. But I... That did not actually... Break stance. Okay. That had no effect on stance. Yeah, easy foe ahead. And just... Can we... Slend that down? Well, alright. Die. Cool. Take the foul foot. Crystal release. Enemy foam. Okay. Then I do not want to go there yet. The Hunt Rain of Crystal Shards. Kirby 64 in the Crystal Shards. Master Crystal. Violent Rain of Crystal Shards. How can get adapts among the Crystallians? The Crystal Sun. Okay. But I should put down a first off, don't you dare. Head. A. Action, read message, rain. First off, don't you dare. And hopefully that will be useful to some people. <clears throat> okay. Not that, not that. It's down. First off. Phrases, don't you dare. Okay. Maybe, maybe I should have said not here. That's fine. That's whatever. This will actually be funky up and then treasure just ahead. So you see, we're actually right under the academy. So, and we go up. Oh goodness, lag spike. Yeah, probably just because it was loading in a rail Lucaria. Covered it in a little bit of blood, as one does. Okay. <laughs> It's taking some time. But we're almost here and too high up. Academy of Ray Lucaria, so to speak, Elden Ring. It's funny enough. That down there, I believe, is the Nala's dome. But you can see this magic clotting all around it, which I believe is you know, out of stamina. Maybe reflecting. Basically, their private use of the upcoming spell. Vision of life. And I guess people tried jumping down. Terra Magica! That very little requirement to Blitz and Sorcerers of the Academy. Academy sigil upon the ground, raising magic strength to those within. Ice Belfry of the Academy, covering the entire institution's ground. Such a vivid experience of spellcasting success. It's many a fledgling into to a true sorcerer in a flash of newfound understanding. Uh, this would be where it was cast from. It's fun. It's actually put down a something incredible ahead. And it boosts, just multiplies all magic damage by 35%, which is just great. Objects, maybe? Things? Something incredible. And this is basically half of every mage build. Give up? Yeah, you can't get down there. Then, oh, but, oh, this would be that crystal tunnel then. The smithing stone, bellberry, is not going to come to me yet. Either way, I need a lot more, need some more foul feet, which means... <clears throat> going to the bridge real quick, and actually do I, watch for another level. Oh, that's a lot. But if I put on Flame of Frenzy, it should be going to kill a few. Spell and put on regular fr regular fr flame of frenzy, but actually, do I have a do I have a good AOE right now? What kind of AOE do I? I do not have enough. Briars of sin might work. Briars of sin might work. Let's see. This should work. Reliably kill them all pretty quickly. So we need to put on. America Seal, now we can do it. Now we can do it. This might be enough. Cool. Oh, well, that didn't hit. Use a position. 
more precisely. The big thing is it didn't alert the other, which is nice. Mm -mm. Just need a few more. <clears throat> Foul feet. Oh, but does casting increase, charging increase, AoE? Might. Let's see. Can I? Oh, well, it just isn't enough of an AoE. That's sad. A lot less of an AoE than you would expect to. Oh, that's a couple of feet. It, let's see what I have AoE ones that I might be able to use to take them out. Spell ends. Let's see. Can't use crystal release. What if I... Oh, but I don't have Stargazer's Talisman. Is the thing. That's from Karya Manor, which I don't even have access to at the moment. I... This might be good. This will probably work. So... Do I have faith? I do have faith not, so... Let's take that. Mmm, but the Crucible Tail, though, is... We'll see. And... Weird. Huh. Expecting... It really is just gonna be playing the Frenzy, then. Okay. At least it's fast. A few more of these and I'll be in good position. It, it's such a good spell. No, because it doesn't force a switch. Dragonite is more of an Outrage user than a Dragon Tail user. In my experience, Dragon Tail is more of a Garchomp thing. As a way to, you know, force enemies to get hit by the rocks it would set. Oh, come on. You talk about Pokemon, you open yourself up to it. <clears throat> I'd mentioned the idea of doing a stream where I play Showdown and fight someone. Maybe I'll fight you. Maybe I'll fight you. It'd be funny no matter what happened. Okay. Oh, but actually, Scar Seal is good for the. I mean, Merrick is good right now for the slight bit of item discovery increase. That's helping. What, what, what do you mean by that? What are you trying to say there? What are you trying to say? I feel... I feel slightly attacked. And yep, you get a good amount. No, I want to fight you because you're always talking about Pokemon. Making comments and doing the Karen quote from Gold and Silver. Okay. I'd even be willing to do random battles. The Karen quote, the win with your favorites one. There, there's a meme that I should show that's basically just... Just a joking meme where it's Karen saying... You know... Stop whining about people using good Pokemon in high tiers. My quote was not telling you that you're, you have to use shit mons to win. It was chiding Silver for trying to discard his... Pokemon in the context of the storyline. I'll find it. It would make you see it. Okay. Come on. Well, there you go. We've come to some level of agreement. This should maybe be... Ah, oh, I need one more to craft. We craft 15 of those foul feet, and I'd be in a good position. Okay. I just, I feel strong. Feel quite strong. And get, there we go. We have just enough foul feet, so let's make 15 of these things. There we go. Cool. All right. Put maybe put frenzy burst back on. Good enough. Don't need Hal of Shabriri. Is the thing. Going through, actually, Temple Quarter would be the fastest way to get there. Well, if... <clears throat> the big thing is when people play something like Ubers or anything goes on Showdown and complain about people, quote-unquote, legendary spamming, when the entire point of a tier like anything goes is to let people... 
quote unquote legendary spam. Level up. And then I guess we could get. We don't really need any kind of. This arcane would be okay. Sure. But let's put a Radagon Sword Seal back on. Okay. It's a good amount of additional FP. Additional HP. So getting Grid Epe on here for stuns would be a good idea. It's going to be over this way. Well, just that. Weird little island from before with nothing really on it. All these scarabs with nothing to do. Okay. Yeah, it'd be funny if one of them ended up being an Ash of War one or a Spell one, and I just couldn't see it. Anything over here, or...? Well, the big thing is that... The entire reason that... I'm sure I've tried to, you know, gone on a rant. How... One of the weird things about the Pokemon fandom is that it has something quite rare, which are casual elitists. People, not people who play competitively looking down on people who play casually, but people who play casually looking down on people who take the game seriously. Because there was, you know, and I'm an idiot for doing this to myself. You know, at this point, part of the reason I read Kotaku is to get mad. But, you know, some years ago when Scarlet and Violet first came out, people were talking about Houndstone getting banned to Ubers because of how powerful Last Respects was. And a lot of people just going all nerd emoji in the comments saying, Smogon is not official. Smogon is stupid. Tears are stupid. You should just win with the Pokemon you want to use. When the, you know, I'm so offended by people saying that the Pokemon I like are bad. When the entire reason that tiers exist are so that people can use Pokemon that they like in a context where they're not going to get immediately outcompeted by Pokemon that are just universally better. Because there are a number of Pokemon that are... <clears throat> in what context? Pokemon that are literally just better or worse versions of other Pokemon. just unilaterally better because of how the stats and abilities work. If a Pokemon has the same typing ability as another Pokemon and just has better stats all the way around, you know, maybe barring some moveful differences, it's just going to be better. It <clears throat> It's very, very silly how some people act. But actually, I... Come on, Dex. I... I should put strength out on here too. That's right. Okay. Strength dot and dexterity not both of them, but oh, but actually, we got heavy, but actually, with quality, quality is so close. The issue is that this heavy gets rid of all the deck scaling. If I have strength and dex, that should be good. <clears throat> well, a big part is that they don't have anything like Battle Frontier anymore. They've deliberately stopped putting in things like that, at least to the extent of, say, Emerald Battle Frontier and, you know, Platinum and Hurgold. So Silver Battle Frontier is, quote-unquote, kids don't like playing to that extent. Which, whatever. But, big thing is... This is Glintstone Dragon Smarag. You can just sneak, sneak behind it, actually. Well, it's not as... There's not as much there as the thing. And there's not supposed to be. Come on, put your head back down. And I, ooh, oh, this would be... This is what I use Giant Hunt for. This is what I use Giant Hunt for. Okay. Go over, go back to the Grace. The big thing is, is that the Battle Frontier had five facilities. Giant Hunt is going to be better than Impaling Thrust for this. Let's use Giant 
hot. Well, you know, so be it, I guess. So let's just check. Got this two-handed, so... Just a war. Quality great epping. Two enhancement, 304 versus... One five. Five. Two one eight. I mean three one eight. Five. Two nine three. Yeah, this is probably gonna be better with the stat boost we can get from this. Well it The big thing is that they were also supposed to be fun. They weren't just you know, you could go hard in them if you wanted, but they were also just fun things, and the fact, and, you know, they were gimmicky in a good way. But you get to stuff like the battle tree, and it really is just fights, fights, fights. There's nothing else there. Let's just giant hunt, and there we go. We go for another, and, oh, well, not if I miss. Come on, let's get... Can I... Mm, not if I miss. Okay, can I... Ah, stupid. I actually despise this. Come on, okay. And can I... Really, really, you've got to be kidding. Okay. This is noxious. Horseback is an interesting idea, but I... Mm, can I... Can I... Stab an another? And... What if I... Ah, stupid. Come on. Alright. Hate this, hate this, actually. Hmm. Giant Hunt is just leaving a bit to be desired. Hmm. As Magic Breath. Because if I, if I got critical I wanted, it would go down very easily, but... Oh, but also I should almost certainly use Magic Fortification here. That's on me. And I... Take that out. Put on magic fortification. Cool. That said, the scar seal cannot be helping. That's the other thing. Go over. We tried giant hunt a couple of times. Presumably, I should be able to get determination, misericord critical, which would deal pretty ridiculous damage to it. Magic fortification. Then we sneak up. Can't get a critical like that, but okay. Can I? Oh, can I? Thanks. And really, really, that got in my way. I actually hate this. What in the? Okay. Stupid. Oh. <clears throat> so much more complicated than it needs to be. It. <clears throat> it's good stance damage, but at least so much I can do if it doesn't cooperate. But cheesing it somewhat. They're not even really cheesing it, just starting the fun off with a critical will help significantly. And if I really wanted to, I could actually sneak around it and get the Glintstone key without fighting it. But it would be a very funny, silly way to do it. You right. See anything there, but let's use that. Take that down. Use. Giant hunt. Thank you. And. Run in. This should be. Quite good. And can I. Thanks. And. Another. And. Cool. Go back down. And. Oh, what? Well, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay. Nice. And. Oh, alright. And. Oh, please. Get in here, you mongrel. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. Thanks. Ooh. It... It's more of a drake than a wyvern. That's how... Elden Ring makes its difference. And... Can I... Another one? And... Really? Okay. Okay. Interesting. And... Can I... There we are. Cool. And just... Termination. And... Can we... Get this? And... This should kill? It didn't kill. Okay. Huh. Weird. All right, then. That's life. So I... Okay, cool. If I just poke... Yeah, that worked. Kind of disappointing. Okay. 
Great enemy film. Cool. And a dragon heart. New draconic powers available at the Cathedral of Dragon Community. Not the. Got the ability to use Smarags once in certain breath. One we go to them, one we kill it if we feel like it, which I honestly kind of don't right now. Can get the Glintstone Key from him. Loot it from behind over here. Cool. Dragonwood Grease. Kukri. Then Academy Glintstone Key. Hmm. Actually, the best way to do things would be. Dragon Moon Grease, and then Determination on the Misericord. Lord. And stone Key, two sealed gates, binding both gates, port magic bound within the seals, where remember its user, once used, it can never be passed on to another. Academy does not welcome the indolent. Well, I guess we could talk to Thops, but... My way around up here... Going to Mogwin would be a funny idea, but I don't feel like it right now. Big thing is, he won't accept the key I got here. The only one he'll accept is a spare one I can get from inside Rail Lucaria. Let's just go through here. Need about 8,000 more. Hmm. With that, let's use three of those then. Cool. Get another level, I presume. No issue with that. Church of Erith. Oh, Thops. Of course, and give the key. Found yourself. Can't take it from you. Belongs to you. Use it for yourself. Space my study. No one keeps to impose. Once it's always finished last. Academy. Push forward with your fight. My sake. What a guy. Okay. We'll get him one, but it will unfortunately lead to the end of this quest when we do. Hmm. Around over this way by Testu's rise. What kind of name is Testu anyway? Testu from Zelda? Maybe. Let's another level, and I guess we'll go for faith. Intelligence is a weird stat in this game. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so Sunday I guess will be Karia Manor, but if i if I've still got the area around the gate down to explore, I honestly don't know how much more I'll be able to do. It's weird to think about. It's just Lyrnia is so big. Ruin Strong Precipice, I'll probably leave until eh, I think I'll do it, fight the Magma Worm, and then if I'm going to fight that Magma Worm, then what I should do is go to Rotview Balcony, go down to the Abandoned Ruins, and get Sword of St. Trina for the sake of easy sleep, because Magma Worms are weak to sleep. Let's go over there and grab that thing right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Bloodhound Spang is already halfway to full upgrade. How exciting. Should be just down over here that I can get arguably the best sleep weapon best way to impose to inflict sleep in the game here in the Forsaken Ruins should be Trina's Lily down through here should be a smithing stone 4 All right. oh funny bird and just use one of them and it should be coming down, but if I just run through, it won't be able to reach me here. Okay. Come on, come on. Put up our starlight. So I can see into here. Thank you. Open this up, get our St. Trina sword, and escape this wretched, wretched place. Thank you. And this is... Get the sword of St. Trina. That sleep build up 66, but when you use... Mist of Slumber gets even better cloaks. St. Trina, sleep ailment upon foes. Enemy out figure, comely young girl, sure is a boy. Appearance as sudden as their disappearance, but... Mist of Slumber, faint purple mist that spreads across a wide front red area. Sleep ailment upon foes, and it also puts sleep buildup on your weapon. 
So then, let's go back. I I could go find that magma room. Maybe. It's an idea. Boil Prawn Shack is... I think it might be right here. I'm not sure. Hmm. It'd be really funny if I just entirely missed Boggart somehow. You know, if I don't find him by the time I'm through, you know, that'll be my verdict. Okay. Okay. Eh, fight against Smart was kind of sad. I expected Misericord to being a, do a bit more than it did, but mm, <clears throat> we'll see. I might, in the end, be better off just getting that axe. Will be some time until I can actually wield it without talismans and crystal tears, the Executioner's Great Axe. Well, the Executioner's Great Axe in particular is something I tried farming earlier but couldn't really. It is arguably the best critical weapon in the game, especially if you have a build that doesn't just use dex. So Misericord is... Has a really high modifier, but the Executioner's Axe does not have as high a critical modifier, but it's got much higher base damage, so it ends up, in a lot of cases, being better, according to people. But stance breaks and criticals are definitely going to be in my general mode of fighting, so... Crystal in the woods. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, but sweeping up through here, around the rise, and then side of the bridge. Maybe into the precipice, and I kill the magma worm, don't go to Altus. Turn back from Altus, maybe actually... Maybe go to... Well, there'd be no point in really doing Salavis' questline by getting Ember Starlight, because... Among other things... Among other things... I guess the question is whether Magma Worm and Ruin Shrone from Precipice counts as an Altus Side of Grace. Turn away to the Altus Plateau. Stream Precipice Overlook Magma Worm. That Magma Worm Side of Grace count as does it count as Altus? Hmm. Well, I... In case I'm wondering, I should just wait to go through Rune's Throne until... I have... The big thing is that I want to be the Misbegotten and the Crucible Knight in... Redmain before the Radon Festival starts. Just for the sake of it. As a point of pride. And that would require not going to Altus. Because the Radon Festival is in being able to fight Star Scourge Radon. Starts as soon as you activate any side of grace in Altus. But I don't want to do that. Uh, you can activate the Radon Festival by progressing Ronnie's quest line while still in. Before even reaching Altus. And I'll just do that after hitting up Redmain Castle. Without the Redmain Festival active, because there are a lot of things you can't get in Redmain while the festival is active, because it just turns it from a dungeon into a boss arena, basically. Or sort of a antechamber for a boss arena. And I want to go home. Is there even anything there? Did I get that already? Can't even tell. Mm -mm. Crystal in woods and something else. Probably at least one more revenant. Hello there, revenant. Thanks. Oh my goodness. Come on, come on. Cool. What stop? Oh my goodness. It is kind of interesting that despite these guys resisting holy, specifically, the wraith calling belt does not deal holy damage. It deals magic damage, which. Not even sure if 
Their version deals magic, or if it deals holy instead. Need anyone else, or... <clears throat> I don't really need that buckle, honestly. I don't know. Hmm. Bone going. What is interesting is that dragons are some of the only enemies in the game that are actually decent to fight with bows. As they tend to stay out of your way. And their head, which is their weak point by a long shot, pun intended, is oftentimes out of reach unless you use stuff like that giant hunt skill that I quit. Which means that Oftentimes you're... Oh, hello. Not going to... You know, you're going to deal a meaningful amount more damage you know, with some kind of bow, especially a great bow. It's not usually the case in this game. I think I might want to try doing some dragon fights with great bows. Especially since I do have golem great bow. That is true. And I can use it. Hmm. I would need to upgrade it with somber stones, but that is actually that's tempting. Next time I fight a dragon, but the next dragon I fight, the next true dragon I fight would probably be decaying Exikes over in Kaoid, which is exceptionally weak to fire. So I <clears throat> and Exikes is interesting from a sort of Gameplay mechanics is storytelling perspective because it's got a lot of HP, but it's not all that threatening Because it's incredibly weak to almost everything It has a lot of HP, but it, its resistances are basically nil Which is kind of the point because it's a dragon that has experienced a bunch of scarlet rot and Therefore has just become significantly weaker and Then what over here? This is the sort of foot of the bridge to Rayo Lucaria, but not Rayo Lucaria, Rayo Lucaria, very specifically. Okay. Gotta make sure I don't get it twisted. Then we, I hear something, oh, it's another crayfish. Okay. Okay, fish. Put our club back on. Heavy large club. Then, okay. One, ooh, ooh, all right, I, mm, that, what? Huh? That was really, really stupid. Okay. Well, you know, I've got a bunch of rune arcs. I'm just gonna pop another. We are dying decently unoften enough that I can just take that for the strength. That said, honestly, I, I'm i not sure whether this is even really good to have at this point. I should probably just settle for something else. A Crimson Amber. Which actually does not increase my HP by as much. But the big thing is that if I'm not using it specifically to meet requirements... I shouldn't be using the Seal Talismans at this point. It's just now that I've got... You know, an, an actual somewhat decent amount of stats. It has reached the point where... It's just making me take more damage. Because Prisoner's Chain in Dark Souls 3... Was almost always a good idea to have. It's not the case here. It's not really just a Prisoner's Chain equivalent. It's actually tough. Oh, come on. Where is my rune stain? Can't tell. Can I... Mm -hmm. Oh, it was by that one that I fought. Okay. Whatever. One. Uh, two. Oh, my goodness. Two. Uh. Hate, hate, hate. Hate, hate, hate. One. Uh, what? Uh. No, not that one. Not that one. Okay. Come on, you. Two. Three. Four. How did that deal? Oh, because it hit the underside. Interesting. That's an interesting idea, then. But I can't guarantee that by any any means. 
So I, mm, I think the underside is. Oh, but if I, maybe if I use stamp upward cut on it, maybe. Where are we getting? Thanks, and just go in. And, well, not if you back up. I, okay, one, two, three, four, and can I slam? Okay, well, I missed. What? Huh? How did I miss? Gotta be kidding. Okay. Ah. Please. One, two, three. Dodge. Okay. Well, all right. Thanks. And just can we slow. Ah, you are so. And okay. Thanks. And can I? Got. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Well, we. Uh, covered its poise way too fast. I, okay. Thanks. And. Dodge. Can I slam again? One. Two. Okay. I hate. hate these things. More willies that I could use for sleep pots, but I have a sleep sword now, so. No point to it. And for whatever reason, we have a funny little. Race side down here. Fun. This is East Gatebridge Trestle. When I was young, a lot younger, I thought the word trestle was really funny for some reason. It just sounded weird. Every now and then I just say it because it's not that I liked the way it sounded. It's just I thought it was weird and I just sort of had to piece it over in my head. That's enough for today. Okay. I sneak up. Don't quite see me. I, oh, we've been spotted. Spotted by the crayfish. Thanks. And what if I... Mm, come on. Out of the way of that. And can I... The question is just... How can I reliably hit the egg sack? I don't think there's a way to. Actually, what if I... Uh, uh, okay. Thanks. And just... Ooh, all right. That was good. Let's go for the critical. Should be good. Mm -mm. I think we can... Oh, but I don't have... Right, I took off that one spell, so... Took off my glintstone shard and excuse for magic fortification, so... Use... There we go. Cool. Oh, well, that didn't hit. Okay. What? Well, the range on that is actually quite bad. Well, there we go. I guess. Cool. And use my superiority. Mounted superiority. Cool. And just heal. And nice. There. Animation was delayed enough that we got some of that anyway. I did go around most of the shoreline a bit earlier today. Looking up through King's Realm Ruins. Around over here, around through here. And then up this way. Hmm. Big question is... Don't think I can really get through Gate Town with the time I have. But I definitely can't get through Mogwin. But it could be fun to... I know that Varre invades, that there are invasions in... A mausoleum that it could be fun to try, try to proc, but it just sends you to Carve Manor. Interesting. They really, really, really want you to do that Ronnie quest line. Bunch of revenants that I killed. Yeah, this is a bit emptier because I killed a bunch of. and blew up a bunch of those marionette balloons, and now it's not much there. Let's just spin around here. Some other things over this way. I think revenants or something else that I saw previously. But I'll be stopping at the ravine, I think. Then I'll go in a bit later once I'm ready to go up to Altus. Mm -mm. Okay. Cool. Okay. So what then? What then? Crystal bud. Then 
pretty sure I got everything around here before, because there was a memory stone that I got a while back, but beyond that, I don't presume there was much else, if anything. <clears throat> but, so the question is, one stone shard is good homing, but I'm not even sure I really need it. Because <clears throat> there's nothing that it would be especially effective against, really, that I wouldn't be better served by just using a spell of another element or a weapon of some physical attribute. Because when I use some spells, is the thing. Mm -hmm. If I would be using magic, it would be to do some sort of cheese like Terra Magica Comet Azure or Terra Magica Sword of Night and Flame because I don't have actual Comet Azure and I won't be able to use it during this playthrough, presumably. But using and a Blood Rose here for whatever reason. Yeah, there was nothing of note here. You know, I would use that on certain <clears throat> rather stationary enemies for, you know, just basically free damage while they sit still, but aside from those small cases, it's just, that's not even a spell, that's a, that's a weapon skill, so I don't really need to have any kind of pure magic spell equipped, maybe? I don't know. It's weird to think about. So then, go back. Take you down. Oh, they're high. And slam and alright and oh my goodness. Okay, cool. And just nice, cool, and go for the critical with Blood Hand Spain. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. More stuff a bit over this one. But I who do I another one of those guys, you're kidding. Eh, you know, that works too. Hmm. So then, I already went up here. This is where those first few finger creepers were. So this area in between, the ravine side of Grace, other stuff, and lots and lots of Albinorix. It's just the blood roses there. Can't quite say what they might be for. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, well, they're high and. Oh goodness, can I slam? There we go. Cool. Should use a bit more bestial vitality. Okay. And down here, or... It might be... Oh, just more land squirts. Try poison, beautiful. Do I have... Don't have frenzy burst or anything, so I don't have a good AoE on me right now. Sad. I... <laughs> Yeah, no AoE. Sad. Two, three, and... Mm, well, actually, if I... If I use Radiseal right now... I would be dealing an okay amount of additional damage, and... It... <clears throat> might make some difference. Maybe. Let's just try that again. Mm -hmm. Then we, if we... That, no, no, it doesn't really make much difference at all. Oh, but I... Oh, but the heavy load is the thing. That's what's going on. I just wasn't rolling before. And that's funny. Okay, cool. And the load increase from that is actually pretty meaningful, but... Mm -mm. Still definitely hit the point in gameplay where using the Rata stuff in this... Multi-boost talismans is not going to be as good. Thanks. Cool. Hmm. Two, three. Then. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's keep on hacking. Old Fang. Okay. Well, alright. Somewhat useful. More poison blooms. And we just... Pack away. Two, three, and... Well, alright. It's just... They don't do much damage. I'm actually, especially since I'm not using... 
goofy uh, seals anymore. We probably don't really need them anymore. Good before, not good now. It, I can tank a good amount of things. Especially if I'm wearing good armor. Okay. Cool. Let's keep on moving. Moon fragment, and this was the edge of kind of wanted to go. Keep on moving. So this is another shoreline. Sort of wrapping our way around. Hmm. But to get over here, you can definitely do that. Maybe I actually get to the start of Ruins Run Precipice. It is pretty far away. And then there would be Gate Town, Karia Manor, this Three Sisters area in general, and then maybe going through a bit of Mogwin next time too. It's an idea. Big thing is that actually, since Mogwin is under Kaled, probably wait until I've actually really started doing things in Kaled, because there's no sense in doing things all that early. There aren't a lot of things that are weak enough to hemorrhage that I feel like I need to rush getting Swarm of Flies, which... Oh, it's just a, just a Fulgur Bloom. What is interesting is that... Oh, and... Oh, since they're striking water, it actually is dealing damage to me reasonably often. That's fun. Kinda. But I... Mmm. Okay. Okay. I like that. Again, I'm not really going to be making use of the Fulgur Blooms for much of anything, but you can see those spreading sparks. I'm sorry to hear that. Is Cellular back yet? I know you talked about Cellular. I mean, in the end, do not push yourself. Do not push yourself for my sake. Okay. Then, oh, right, the other walking mausoleum was over in that part, too. So then. So then. That's where I was in that. Not quite here. I said, Cellular. As you said that data was coming back, and that was what you often used about shield bash. I would not want to impel you to do that. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Coding stance can even be staggered. Pull on all shields. One thing I've noticed is that when I first started playing Genshin on my old, old phone, which I haven't had for years, I had to actually take off the case whenever I played it to prevent the game from overheating. Because the case was actually decently contributing to overheating and therefore taking the case off helped significantly in terms of making it not overheat. So it was an idea. Mm -hmm. If it is mostly about making sure stuff doesn't overheat and you have a case on right now, that could be an idea. But if you don't, then well, good luck. I don't know what to say. And I... Mm -mm. We're at 72 already. Kind of crazy. Okay, good. Good. Oh, giant Albinoric and... Oh, that missed. That missed entirely. Slam, slam. There we go. Now we have... Stat increases to... Oh, well... Oh! Ice Breath? Wow. That said, Frostbite does not scale with anything at all, really. <laughs> Alright. It... Heat can damage the phone, so... If it becomes an issue, feel free to take a break. I'm not gonna try to... You know, I'm not gonna force you to stay. But, the big thing is... Ooh, interesting. What if I... Hmm, can I... Actually, damage on. This is fine. 
Just because of the upgrades. Wow. Okay. Cool. And crab eggs and white flash. And okay, we got that back because it took time for it to disappear. So perfect, Carice. Well, maybe not through actual force, but maybe through manipulation. I'd still prefer to not do that. So just do not do not let me manipulate you. Okay. Anything over here or? What is this? It seems ominous, but it doesn't... Nothing is there. Weird. Hmm. This shoreline over here... That's good. Don't be too gullible. It's dangerous. This is... A lump of flesh. Interesting. Up top, but oh, I think this was this was not the way down from Bellum Church, though. Good, yeah. Don't die on me, at least. I would like you to live out to a ripe long age, but I mean ripe old age. But if you have to die young, you know, I'm sure you can stay on for the for the Elden Ring playthrough. Okay. Come on, come on. Not much more. This over here, but... Good, good, good. That's the important part. Okay. Okay. Well, then after that, not one will come out, so you have to stay alive for that, too. You can't go around dying just yet. Long way off. Then more crystal buds, and the rhyme crystal bud should be atop of the Ronnie at Karia Manor. She has a bit of an ice affinity to her. This is that side of Grace, so we just gotta look back. Go up top a bit more. Then I guess I could try a few more invasions before closing things off today. It's an idea. Wasn't she doing it one-handed? I saw something about that. She was eating a donut. Mm -hmm. I respect that kind of thing. Challenges like that are cool, but... Uh, I could never do anything like that. Because the amount of game knowledge I'd have to get out of you know one game in particular... Would be crazy. It's fun to play so Throw Through Souls with a silly build. But it's really not all that bad. And it's just... If nothing else, because there are people like them who are really just soul streamers and nothing else, and that, I'm too addicted to Genshin to do that, you know? If I wanted to go into really crazy challenge runs and gimmicky setups as cool as they are, I would have to give up a lot and you would, you would never be able to see your boyfriend's new Viet and Rathesli beat up people in Abyss ever again. And I don't think you could- I don't think you could countenance that. Are you telling me to? Are you telling me to do that? Well, I actually use Zhao more than Nuviat or- Well, actually not more than Nuviat, but more than Rathesli. I use Zhao more than Rathesli, so... There we go. <clears throat> okay. Keep on going. I don't need magic fortification here, but let's just put in the shard again, just to be sure. Yeah, okay. Why not? Why not? <clears throat> well, it's... Because Final Fantasy 20, as people call it, because it's FFXX, is arguably one of the best teams in the game right now. It's Furino, Farzan, J Jean Yun and Zhao. And I've actually run that decently often too. It really is good. Can I? There we are, and can I? Oh, but I'm poisoned. I'm poisoned. Hmm, okay. Got too big for my britches. Okay. Got some special vitality. Okay. 
Get over here, Benton's Golden Rune. That was actually pretty decent. Oh, but I need a bit of Starlight. Oh, now the buff's gone, because I unequip that. That's sad. This is going to say fatty. Pump sword backstepping required I had. My goodness. Okay. There's another Blood Flame Blade, and... Hmm. Actually using Bloodhound's Finesse would be more than good here. Oh, and that actually... That's an instant stance break. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, probably because it... It was a bit less time for the follow-up compared to using jump attacks in a succession. There we go, and cool. Gotta love this thing. Okay. Bloodstain? Yeah, because joking about someone having died to that thing. Uh, mushroom, mushroom. Yeah. Big thing is that with... The Radiseal equipped, I could use a little bit heavier armor, but I'm pretty sure that it's still bad for my negations. We're way over here by the precipice. Might be a knight somewhere nearby, but we'll be okay. We'll be all night. So we got more over here, and... Hmm. Thank you, but oh, we need to use another Flask of Tears. Well, what is funny is that... <clears throat> Honest to God, great swords are actually one of the better ways to beat the game. Just heavy weapons in general. Because like I've said, stance damage is just an incredibly abusable mechanic if you know what you're doing. The big thing is, Spirit Ashes is... That is legitimate as an objection. But a lot of it is just... They're not engaging with the DLC's bespoke damage killing mechanic of the Skidutri Fragments. And that will just utterly ruin you. Because your defenses and attack power scale pretty heavily with a resource you get from exploration. So if you don't do your exploration or don't get or use the fragments, you're gonna have a bad time. It's because the entire point of its existence is challenging players who are already at very, very high levels due to going through one or multiple DLC new game cycles after the game, new game plus cycles after beating the game normally, and using that character to progress onwards to the DLC, which other Souls DLCs, I'm pretty sure that uh, <clears throat> Shadow of the Urger is the one that took the longest bleed builds, well, because enemies have a lot of HP. That's the big thing behind it. And a lot of it is also, there's a weapon that, you know, without getting too much into spoilers, is... Basically exists to just be a very cheesy bleed weapon. Has a charge attack that can apply bleed multiple times. Or at least, is almost guaranteed to apply bleed at least once, especially if you have a blood infusion. It just becomes very, very ridiculous. And it's also a colossal weapon. So it can break stance very, very easily, too. It's probably going to get nerfed. Because it really is just way too good. But there are a lot of people using that. There are a lot of very, very strong weapons in the DLC, which, like I said, is why I'm not going to the DLC right now, because I don't want that level of cheese for the main game. Because, you know, it's they're strong, but they have to be, because... The DLC is harder, but... Oh. By saying what? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, you know, if, he, if he's an Elden Ring player, you should get him to watch. Oh, oh. Yeah, that... But did you know it would be a spoiler, or...? I mean, in the end... It is what it is. Oh, well, ooh, okay, all right, and just another. Thank you, cool. Mm -mm. 
Okay. Oh, oh, well. Well. Hmm. Okay. Golden seed, and I have. It's the only golden seed I have right now. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Keep on moving. Then, oh, okay. Was it the final boss? Oh, almost, almost, split. almost? Okay. <clears throat> okay. Come on, get in here. Oh, and this miner's village will take me to the precipice. Oh, oh okay, fair. What video was it? Well, to be fair, you... That's right, you don't remember, but... I would be willing to watch it. I ended up spoiled on those things about the DLC. Oh. It was... probably the final boss. Honestly. Hmm. Come on, come on. Okay, okay. Mushroom. A mm, bit more starlight. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, but, oh, there's a, another. Oh, there, oh, well, all right. Okay. Barbaric roar. But I, I don't have that already, do I? No, I don't. Your armaments, heavy affinity, rally the spirit, increase attack power, savage combo attacks, thing but daggers. Daggers, thrusting swords, and whips. <clears throat> okay. So even curved swords, too. Interesting. Should be. And this is the mining village. Oh, right. Okay. Then he should definitely watch. Well, I'm partially kidding, because he'd definitely be weirded out. Foot of the Earth Tree and a bit of rare specimen tinged with gold. Bolster the strength of the royal forces. I know, you don't have to try again. Your efforts are your efforts are appreciated. This Oh fair. I I, I would never try to you can never nag someone into watching you. Beyond it just being silly and probably kind of unethical, it just doesn't work. You can't make somebody like you. Fair. Yeah, that that's the better decision, frankly. If you're busy, and that's the choice you have to make. I'm not going to fault anyone for that. Okay. Then do it, and anything here, no, no, no. Message, okay, cool. This is, there is a ladder up there. That, hmm, sort of grace. Ravine Vale, the village. Okay, well, you can whine if you like, but I'm not going to make you. Hmm. If I go up here, land squirts are back. Glyre ahead. Presumably, there should be another side of grace in the village itself. Maybe. Well, basically, at the start of the dungeon proper. Oh, ouch! Well, tell him that you can't kill that he can't kill you until I get done playing Elven Ring. That might even get him to watch. Maybe. <clears throat> Keep on moving and... Good. Precious item ahead. Be wary of liar. Be wary of message. This is... It's the Ruin Throne Precipice? It's not look like it. I think Stone 4. It's a good way to get stuff. But I... Hmm. Presumably I would want to have... Club, brick hammer. I could use brick hammer actually. Do I have. Could I upgrade that thing at all? Let me just check my stones. 
still can't upgrade the thing. Dang it. Just back to the large claw. And then, fun going. Have our starlight up, and that should go down relatively easily. Hello there. Hi. One, two. Cool. Stone. Oh, they dropped Sticking Stone 4. Okay, cool. Hmm. Could be a way to grind for them if you really felt like it, but I not really. So then. Time for gesturing. No, not really. Hmm. Here is. Oh, and this is a vulgar militia man. Wait, how did I get a how is that a backstab? Well, whatever. So I hmm. Oh, oh, poison. Okay. Fun, not really. Make a few more of these boluses. Let's make ten of them. Cool. Only boluses I really need, so we're poison. I I did not mean to do that. And I can't change my I can't change my appraisal. What? No, I feel bad. Okay. Whatever. Standard. It is interesting that using Axe Icon indicates standard damage in this one. Sort of standard is a specific chopping damage type. And it is interesting that there was exactly one enemy in Dark Souls 3 that was specifically weak to standard, and that was the... Spring Stone 3. Oh, and... Oh, right. Oh, come on. Okay. That were the... That was the Tree Women... Well, they were the tree women. It was the tree woman in... Oh, hello. Hi. Painted word of, world of Ariandel. Because it would make sense that, you know, standard is chopping damage. Uh, you know, an axe would be effective. No secret, therefore praise the message. Sure, why not? Cool. Applaud. Go down this way. But <clears throat> I guess the question is, anything underneath or... No, nothing underneath. Over there, or anything to drop down midway, or it does not really seem like it. I'm not in the ruins from precipice yet, am I? Well, that's crazy. It's taking even longer than I expected. Anything down there, or let's try one more time. Can I? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Yeah, that. That seemed to be anything of note to drop down over there. Big ol' elevator, because this is the way to Altus. Oh, interesting. So what's that there? That blue stuff? It's something I can get. I don't think I could, but... I'd hear it. Let me try magic, but... Thanks, thanks. So the question is, Cracked Crystal, if I use Great Glintstone Shard, which better will that be? It's... Well, interesting. So it's good against them. But I could just be using bludgeoning. Push this item ahead and this. Cracked crystal. Sniffing stone four. Thank you for notifying me. And then. And I do hear something that sounds like an ash of war. There's some kind of scarab around here. Hmm. It says, oh, hello, vulgar militiamen. And I, oh, come on, you. Okay. Die and. Okay, interesting. Funky. <clears throat> Use that. <sighs> Said, I think I'm getting some stuff back because I'm killing enemy groups, but. Lightning Grease. Really, really, really. I should have. Oh, it's those poison stone clusters that. Okay. So I can see them on the ground, but I'm just chewing through those. My goodness. But if I just use fully charged heavy, that kills too. No FP cost either. Crack crystal and there's something over there. We have surprise attack. Hmm. And a somber stone. There we go. Then hmm. I hear somebody something and. Oh, hello. Hi. Slam, and... You know, if one of them dropped their pickaxe, it's the only 
Oh my goodness. The only <clears throat> thrust damage. Great hammer, which is cool. Thank you. Alright, oh, right, and dodge, dodge. Oh, please. Hate these guys, and can I. Mm, let's just take that flash right now. Can I move in and. That did not connect. Alright, thanks. And slam. And get that. So many vulgar militiamen. Okay. This is. Okay, a rune arc. Not bad. And is that. I had a friend. I feel like this is basically Rune Strewn Precipice already. If I'm not getting stuff from enemy groups, I may as well be in the dungeon already. Maybe. Let's just get my Starlight back up. I, I do find it interesting that, if anything, sorceries are more of a utility oriented magic type than. See if there'd be explosion, worry of explosion. Explosion. One, two, and all right. Oh, but no, not yet. Okay, cool. And Silverstone four, not bad. We have explosion. Okay. Then we. Oh, didn't expect explosion. Well, I did because I was told, quite kindly, in fact. This is oh right by the Dectus lift. This is the Rune Stone Precipice. Went through that village, and now we're at actual dungeon. Which I... Hmm. Question is... What do I do with this? Don't want to go to Altus, but... He towns over here. Hmm. Big thing is, I can definitely go there if I want. Altus... It also messes up some quest lines, I think. I'm gonna have to backpedal a little, but... Question is what and where I go to now. Hmm. <clears throat> Araya is that right there. Araya there. Well... I wanna get an invasion off and actually succeed this time, since I am a bloody finger now, but... Hmm. This is good. Let's just invade. Lots of cracked crystals for crystal darts, which is nice. Is this cool? Near and far. Try to some stuff work. Here we go. Yeah, because my level is at a point where it would make sense for me to maybe invading invading people on Altus. Did he try again? What did he tell him? And then, oh, we're in Kaled. Yay. Far Goose. Okay. This. And yeah, we're at Heavy Load. That's not great. Oh, but if I put this on, I can Medium Load. And then I got some stuff going. Flash should be good for me. Okay. Where is... Oh, they're right there. Hello. Hi, interesting. Okay, fun, and... Okay, I did not mean to do that. Hmm, alright. Let's just use that Miranda flower for cover. Fight them in the vicinity of this thing. We should be a good deal stronger. A good deal more able, so I can... Hmm, okay, nice. And just cover, cover, cover me. Thank you, and just, alright, thanks. The flower's my, mm, best asset. Thanks, thanks, and, alright, cool. Let's get up, slam, slam, and, okay, alright, nice. Out of my way. Thank you, cool. Put that up, and, alright. Get maybe get some special vitality going, too. Nice. Frilled fingers right there, he's rotting, I think, which is good news for me. Oh, there, so I can... Slam, slam, and oh my goodness, I, all right, thanks. Hmm. Rotting. Oh my, okay, uh, what? Huh? Huh? Okay. Huh. Weird. Oh, oh. Well. 
The answer is that I will be totally honest. I think there's a good chance that he saw me and did not like me. It is not something I would hold against him. Because it's impossible to be for everybody. It... I think there's a chance he just does not want to hurt your feelings, which is legitimate. I... He's okay. Why is there a grace so... Right here? Okay. Cool. Hello. Hello. This grace discovered and... Only a swamp shore. Yeah, that other one, it's... It's so close. It's so close to That's the funny part. Let's grab my... Grab those runes back. Oh, okay. Fair. Well, you know, either way, it's it's not a huge deal. I'm not offended. I'm not worried. Okay. Fair. Well, I guess... They might be Italians, but they're Italians in the year of our Lord. It's five, yeah. Year of our Lord, 2024. That, okay. Got one more waffle of something. Okay, fair. Oh, right, right, right. Fair. And now you have someone to play the game for you. Isn't that nice? Let's just do another invasion. I want to get an invasion working. Near and far. <clears throat> oh, I think that there are other crystallians in the other tunnel, maybe. It's not that I can get a bell bearing relatively soon to buy other smithing stones. Okay. So then I will. Purulina. Oh, they're using DLC in cans. I may be in trouble. Okay. Not force, but finger Purulina and Jiro. Okay, all right. It's gonna run over here by the bear. That rain of fire spell they use is actually horrible. Is the thing. I have no intention of finding you fairly. Okay, cool. What if I... Mm -mm. If for something punishable and just... Cool, and can I... Mm -mm. Never mind. Thanks, and one... Uh, that was tough. Mm -mm. Thanks, and can I... Cool. Uh, neither of those hit. Cool, and one... Uh, Interesting. I don't have my buckle up. This is the thing. I, okay, and... Oh, really? Oh, and Pete's flask healing. That's right. Fun. Okay. Well, you know what I could bring over here to help me out? Big old bear. Yeah, a giant rune bear. Okay, cool. Fun. Okay. Till something happens, you're a bit impeded. How do I get... I'm over this way. Get over here. Maybe I'll try sniping you or something. Can I craft some pots? I can craft some pots. Beast lore. Mm -hmm. Vengeful spirits. That. Mm -hmm. Deadly poison. Rancor pot. Let's just make... 10 Rancor Pots for fun. Then, this could help me out. Uses FP though. That is the one thing. Hmm. All right, well, clearly aren't interested in fighting me along with that bear. Can't say I blame them. Blood Flame in conjunction with this. Okay. Cool. And just connect. 
Can I? Okay. And just, well, can I? Oh, but what? Wow. One tapped by, oh, he's using Mesmer's spear. Okay, so he's very clearly someone. Okay. Very clearly overleveled. Ferrying someone through. Because that's from one of the DLC bosses. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Okay. <clears throat> Well, I did not intend to do that. Intended to near and far. Okay. Both near and far. Score one invasion kill. One invasion kill. Just not having the great rune effect is definitely hurting me a little. Especially since it means that my equip load goes down pretty meaningfully. Hmm, okay. I... There is a... Okay, well, I'm invading another world. Cool. Let's try this. Let's try this out. <sighs> right. And Lyurnia, exciting. A wolf, host of fingers. All right, cool. Wear them over here where I could use poison against them would be nice, but. Oh, Rose Church, are they by Rose Church? Maybe, let's see. Who and what and where, I see, I see movement. It's exciting, is this? Probably. Ranker pots would be good for a bit of stuff, but... Okay. Cool. Go for a duel. And can I... Thanks, and just... Thanks. Uh, never mind. Hmm. Hunter Aurelia summoned. Okay, cool. And just go over for that chase. Go for a roll catch or something, but I... No, not if that time comes. Can I... Hmm, all right. Thanks. Hmm. See if I can go for a trade or something. This is lagging out something awful. Thanks, one, two, three, four. Oh, nice, we got Blood Flame, that's good. Right. Okay, run over and one, two, three. Hmm, well, all right, nice. And flip up Blood Flame and just gonna slam and nice. Kill and mm, never mind you. Okay, well, all right. Thanks. You, okay. Ah. Two and well, all right. Hmm. Okay. Oh, and there was a furled finger right there too. No, another bloody finger. Oh, okay. Cool. They were using bloodhound's fang too. That's funny. Hmm. No weapon, or? Well, I figured. That's actually pretty normal for a lot of people. Specifically because if you don't have any armor equipped, you can equip a heavy weapon without any issue. It's literally basically the stereotypical Elden Ring speedrunner build. I'm just... Were they using martial arts, or...? At that point, at least in my opinion, it's just... Okay, impressive, but... It's kind of like playing Sekiro with minimum attack power. After a certain point, it... <clears throat> stops being... Becomes really weird. Honestly. Hunter invaded in that it just makes the fights a drag and it's just sort of it's one thing if you're doing it for yourself but it's just if you're trying to show things to other people it's just you know why 
why would he watch? You know, if he could choose between watching a fight that takes 20 minutes and a fight that takes two, it's, I don't know. I don't know. Give me one kill with my stupid silly build. I'm begging you. My funny metal weapon. Mm. That's fair. Hello, Academy Gate Town, and who is here now? Feeble old man, host of fingers. That's bad news. It's actually really bad news. No one is going to name that if they aren't a crazy fighter. No, wait, where are they? Did they vanish? I... Hmm. I'm gonna reinvade. Reposition. That's fair, but... After a while, they get monotonous, honestly. Oh, a bloody finger. Feeble old man. Thanks, and... Hello, other bloody finger. Oh my goodness, what was that? Oh, he's using the martial arts. And can I... Come on. Okay, nice. What in the... Okay. Okay. One, two, three, and... Wow, okay, all right. Well, we got... What? <clears throat> but that other... Bloody finger. That's weird. Presumably... Presumably that guy's there to bail him out if he dies. Where's my rune stain? Oh, it was... Oh, by the gate town, right. Hmm. I guess maybe if it's... If it's alive, that's one thing. But... I don't know. It's probably the difference. Yeah, because that guy was definitely trying to... He had one invader in there already, and if he got a second me, that means he must have had another cooperator waiting probably somewhere to gank me if he got close to death. So that wasn't a fight that I was going to be able to win. It's just... Having to deal with the crazy DLC weapons with what I have right now is silly. It's painful. i try a couple more times, but I'll probably just end up going to the cave right over here. Because it would give me a bell bearing, that would be nice. This, basically right over the other one. That's funny. It's, oh, I think they mark... Ones that you can or can't teleport out of, maybe? That... No, it's red for sides of grace, but... The dungeon was marked separately than the side of grace that bore its name. <clears throat> now this is... funky. Maybe I want to talk to Diallos. Eh, he's far away. Well, uh... Sooner I get that part of his quest line done, but... Let's chance I've been missing any of it. Okay. Oh, well, Miranda's. Where was he again? Over here, I think? Let me just... Oh, come on. Attempting to invade and... He was over here. Oh, well. Lanye. Lanye. It's me, Dialos. Answer me, would you? Okay. Hello, friend. So me to know, would you? Hunt their fellow tarnished. The recusants who hunt their fellow tarnished. Mm -hmm. They laid hands upon my servant Lanya, and I refuse to let the insult stand. Oh, right, we'll see what he does. House Hoslo is told in blood. I, Dialos, swear to deliver the message. Unfortunately, he's weak. Okay. They laid hands upon my tail. I. Okay. They laid her tail. Eventually, he'll move away. Out of stamina. Oh, and this is. That's Lanya right there, oh how sad. Okay. 
Hmm. Should move back to round table hold, I think. I I want to get one successful kill. Just one. Oh well. Sent a lackey. Can you believe they invited Probably would have been Raya, actually, now, after what they did. Give me a fool. Took them up on the offer. Volcano. Volcano Manor. Town of windmills, that would be Dominula. Volcano Manor. Yep. Just you wait. All right. Well, you'll see what happens. Old Road, Manor on the Peak. Okay. Cool. He is no longer over there then, but to get the the Boil Prawn Shack eventually. Talk to Bogger and then give the necklace back to Raya. Okay. Okay, so I guess I'll just go to. That one dungeon, unless I get summoned, is the thing. Let's hope. Get another summon. Imagine knock someone out. Oh, and right there's the walking mausoleum. I could actually take this thing down too, mate. Eh. Lots of knights over there, and I don't feel like that. I do feel like it's going over to the side of grace. Oh, there, hi. One, two. Occasionally they'll drop their armor. Some bolts. Okay. Mm -mm. Don't think some of them will respawn, but I think some of them don't come back once you get rid of the nearby enemies, is a thing. Mm -mm. Don't quite see me, and the mausoleum doesn't count as an enemy, so. Oh, they're high. Should be. Mm hmm. This is the. What is this? Oh right, if we're if we're not gonna get a successful invasion, I well, may as well put my stuff back on. Meteorite staff is actually pretty heavy. It's interesting. Come on. Okay. I don't really need the buckle right now. Then we. So we can drop in heavy load. What gives? Oh, the Missouri Court, I think. Take this down, but we roll on the side. Yeah. Find something, maybe. Well, this cracked crystal. Okay. Then, more cracked crystal. Okay. Some crystal tunnel, presumably. Then we jump. Jump. Take this. Okay. This side of Grace, presuming there is one. There should be. Can I? Oh, we're invading now. Okay, cool. Raya Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. It's the Academy Crystal Tunnel and the Raya Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. Okay. I guess the question is, is that Grace going to be active once I get back? So I pressed the thing to touch it, but I didn't quite complete it. Oh, see for River. For Finger Velka. Okay, boil cocaine. Alright. Then. No, I could equip this. Okay, cool. And then I will. That's your vitality. This is interesting. Where are they and what are they fighting? Bloody Finger Gorin has died. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, it's lagging. It's really, really lagging now. Flame up. Take them on. Come on, come on. So where are they? Velka! That might be bad news in terms of names, honestly. And... It's right there, then I'm close. Question is, could I lure them into a... Oh! Fun! Okay. Fight with the octopus on our side. Now that's exciting. So if I take out Valka, I could... Mm, could I... Okay, nice. Oh, alright. 
Oh, you, you've got to be kidding. Thanks. Come on, get back. Mm. Fight with the octopus on my side. I can deal with him relatively easily, I think. Can I? Okay, one. Uh, dodge, dodge. Mm. Can I? One, two, three, and bloody finger, Vab the inhaler. Oh, and wow. The frostbite cropped. Okay. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> well, that's a place I've been. That won't be too much trouble to get back to, but... Hmm. Well, okay. We're just right over here. And I did not actually activate the grace. Still have to touch it. Touch grace. Okay. Let's grab my... Stuff. Oh, but I'm stupid. Mmm. I. In that case, I guess I'll just go through. The question is, gonna be at the end of this. Can't quite see yet. No more miners. Okay. Use meteorite staff again. Then we. <clears throat> Starlight. Crush you. Cool. Thanks. Nice. Oh, well, almost. Almost. Uh, okay. Oh, the miners and their ferals are... Hmm. I... Hmm. This is still good. Thank you. This is... What's in here? Somberstone 2. Okay, well... It's not nothing. I'm moving down, and at the end of this, we should be able to get a Miner's Bell bearing and a good one at that. That crystal. Well, it's just the first one, but still, it'll be the first one to get. And making me voice stronger. I, do I hear a vulgar militiaman? I might. We'll see. And I... Hmm. Yeah, that eventually... In Celia Crystal Tunnel, these miners were explicitly enslaved. Not so, I'm not as sure about here. And then, Looking Stone 2, okay. It's so good to have, even if it's not as valuable as some of the others. And Okay, cool. We're big. Hit with some wind up. Hmm. Shortcut, try circling around. Had a shortcut. Contraption does not move. And I guess the question is to get over on that side. My, I don't think I want to walk that beam. It's dangerous. Well, it... Mm, I'm gonna have to, aren't I? Cracked crystal. This is surprisingly deep. Huh. So then let's go over here. What happens when I walk this beam? Hmm. Then, ooh, all right. Can I jump and jump and hmm, worried and can I? Nice. Smithing stone three. Time for message. What is this then? I okay. And ooh, that was tough. Somber stone three and had a well done. Had a well done. And okay. Kind of getting my running start by going up against the wall to make sure I don't fall off. That helped. Hmm. Weird place. So the question is, is it going to be crystallians at the end of this or something else? Not quite sure. This always a battle. How philosophical. Large glintstone scrap, cracked crystal. It's actually not new. Hmm. Or at least not the only one I have, so... Can I swing and get both of them? Nice. Big baseball bat. And can I... Okay, what are we gonna... Oh, oh, all right. And, oh, what's in scrap is funky. That was interesting. I can I... Oh, my goodness. I, okay. I actually hate that. Can I... Slam it. Okay, cool. Mm hmm. Go over and take you down. Hmm. 
These guys, yeah, you take them out with a little swing, but this is not much of a shortcut, to be honest. Hmm. Actually, this goes down, right? Yeah, this goes down. But is there anything I can drop down to here, or is that? Okay. Then I should poke around a bit more before I go over that way. Starlight. And then... Hmm. Get a couple more crack crystals. The only thing that's really going to be good for are crystal darts to use on material. Watchdogs, eventually. To make them fight each other, though when that happens, it will be very good and very funny. Because it's... Uh, imps are annoying, but they're not enough of a struggle that I really care to use darts to make them malfunction. Especially since they malfunction, it would make them become less predictable, which would actually make them more dangerous, frankly that. Spinning stone three. It's good to get stuff here. Golden rune three. I'll be able to buy some bell bearings. Right now we've got a good amount of these. A decent amount. Should hopefully be able to level up the club or maybe something better than the club. I'm looking anything past here or does this lead back out? I think it does. It's a big central tunnel. All the way down there might be the boss. This is surprisingly long. Somber stone too, and that's good as well. But can I... Mmm, that drops down. I... Hmm. Okay. I... It's in there. I failed. Somber stone three. Correct crystal. It's nice too. And if I will this, okay, that did not kill me. Wow. Okay. Didn't even damage me. They might have a built-in exception for that one. It's possible, but that that looks like a crystallion. Not quite sure. I like how. The word, the name Crystalline has a bit of the word alien in it, too. It said, I don't think they're extraterrestrial, though. I don't know. There isn't really a lot of information on what the Crystallians are specifically, other than that they're awaiting the return of their creator who might carve them more brethren, quote-unquote. Hmm. Let me down, let me down. Thank you, thank you. Cool. Let's drop down a bit again, connect to where we were before, and I think then there may be something beyond that tunnel. Probably not. It's still good to check. So, over here, sometimes there are somber stones. Or other kinds of stones just in here, but that was not the case this time. Just gotta work our way back around. Kill them. Okay. Hmm. -hmm. Recaster Starlight. <clears throat> what a great spell. What an amazing spell. We'll carefully boss ahead. Can't drop down there, though. And Vision's a boss, yeah. Okay. Then we have something over there, and that's interesting. Okay, it's just another one of those miners, but... One of those wizard miners. They're kind of in prison in Celia. So yeah, they were enslaved. Praise the shortcut. Oh, there we go. Cool. Yep, contraption should move now. Not that we really need it. Then we... One, two, get whatever this is. Smithing stone, two. Okay. Pretty soon we'll be able to just buy those outright, so whatever. Some whispering. Hmm. So then... Yeah, this one is surprisingly long. One. And even if I didn't want that, I got it. I guess logic might stand. They might be weak as a standard because they are made of wood. Fire ahead, and then. So then stone one. Well, that, that's nice. Stone two and multiple, and that bundle. Fire ahead. But now we'll be able to just buy them so that it's not really relevant. And I, Oh, hello, they're high. Okay, two, three, and just, can I, oh, alright, one, 
And use that for a bit of respite. Lots of these funky marionettes. Thank you, and just may as well. Okay. It'll be time for Bestial Vitality. Okay. Oh, but my, my blood stain is all the way in that direction. Sifra. It's funny. My, my rune stain. The ambush ends. Hurry up. Hello. There we are. That was fun. Okay. Thank you, message. Good one, too. Hi. Let's see what happens if I backstab this one. Oh, but they're using magic. Interesting. I, they're lobbing magic kind of sometimes. Cool. Enjoy death. No trap ahead. This is... Crystal knife. Didn't know there was a knife. No, it's not sharpening hard crystal, not a sword. Just human may not be stealing the extra weapon. Winston miners, Winston extract, Winston broken rock. Hit magic and reason. A little bit of magic damage and therefore a little bit of intelligence scaling. Interesting idea for a weapon, but not that I really need it. Glitstone minor cosplay build, maybe. So here we are. This should be where we get to the boss. Roughly, more or less. Then we... No, not that, not that, not that. Okay. Starlight, Starlight. On this side. Kind of looped around a bit. Wary of group. I will be wary of group. Thank you. Swing. Even how slow they are and how much time it takes for them to get up. These charge heavies are great. And, okay, cool. Alright, thanks. Alright, then. If they had magic get me, they probably would have kept going, is the thing. Okay, and almost dead, but... Sure, okay. That actually would have been a decent thing to use magic on. Well, whatever. Mm -mm. So then, how many more? And just out of my way, and you cannot... Nice, alright. And they're all around this middle node of smithing stone. Somber stone, oh, I didn't see that. Good number of spinning stone three. Okay. Over, slam you again. Cool. Backstab probably would have killed two, but who's counting? It's a stones. There we are. Cool. That crystal. Because in Celia, the transporter trap in Celia was pretty much this. To get tarnished to interact with it. To get trapped there and become enslaved to mine Glintstone and Celia. The rest... Lost down here? A jumping. Yes, I guess. I wonder how they would round up their miners here, maybe if they were even not enslaved this time. Who knows? I'm sure we'll get answers. Liar ahead. Didn't expect sorcery and... Oh, Shatter Earth. That's usable. Shockwave, feral with magic. Magical shockwave, one fall, the tax, don't make sorceries. It's no miners of the crystal tunnel, use of the sorcery, stigma the market failed scholars, so I guess. Maybe when you sign up to study at Rea Lucaria, and just hand over your life. And if you're bad, they turn you into a glintstone miner, maybe. Who knows? That, okay, I can reach it down there, that's nice. Hmm. So then. So then, let me see, let me see. Jump down here, there should be something more. Probably won't be, won't be the boss, but oh, another smithing stone. Another somber stone three. So many somber stone things I could upgrade. I just hand you, uh, hand you somber stones like candy. Okay. Then eventually you can buy it too, but it's just you have so many and it's only one per upgrade level. It's so much easier, frankly. One of those, okay, cool. Not bad. See who's on the other side of this. Probably cast special vitality again before the fight starts. Be a stone trigger troll or what? Come on. This is and oh it's more crystallians. Oh, just one crystallian? Oh, this is going to be a stomp. Okay, cool. And just kind of slam. Okay, all right. And just and we charge and hit. And there we go. Nice. Now this 
hits is nothing. And we just get back up. We slam me down again and slam again, and there we go. No more of you. Cool. Let's take the foul foot. Thanks, Smithing Stone Monitors. Bell Baron. Exciting. That should remain house for new item access. Once dug for Smithing Stone. Stone one, two, and oh, Gwintstone scrap. Ah, you know, okay. That was simple. There's the spear one and the staff one. The other tunnel, but this was the chakram one. Okay, but all we can really do now is leave. Sick old deer. We're like to use the bell bearing, and that helps you. Okay. Return to the entrance where we can presumably teleport out. Maybe level something up? Eh, probably not. We can buy some smithing stone, but the big thing is this large club is... It's gonna be better, presumably. I would think. In the end, the brick hammer. Hmm... It's probably going to be better, given multi-scaling for now. Eventually, I am going to want to switch it, spec, switch out to Colossals, but it should be okay for the time being. Let me just see for real quick. Get my rune stain back. Maybe try one more invasion before I close things out, but it's about where I wanted to wrap things up, so it's just... There's still a lot more to do in the Arrhenia. There's this entire remaining quadrant of the lake and then Caria Manor and presumably maybe Mogwin Mausoleum early? Well, no, I'd be doing that with Kaled. Yeah. It's so crazy to think. This area is just absolutely massive. Okay. Well, we got our horse, which helps. It's a bit less claustrophobic than Ansel's, which is why they let you do it, presumably. Killed that ancestor spirit and just about a week ago. Something like that. A week and a half ago. We can get our rune stain here. Thank you, thank you. And just. No, not yet. Not yet. Should be fine. Well, actually, what we could do is just invade now. Sure. Hmm. We got Ansel over here. We got Seafruit, but you don't see the thing on it. Yeah, because presumably, since it's under Kaelid, it would be marking. Mogwin is part of Seafruit, so you wouldn't get. Kind of like I had to get most of the map pieces, I think, before we could see the marker for Lyurnia. It won't be until we get Mogwin's map that we see the name for Seafruit there. But it, hmm, inky blackness. See more water down over here, the other side, which it's gonna be interesting to go into Nokron after I actually take out take out Radon. <clears throat> I hmm. It's the next thing to do would be. Explore the area in Gate Town, to the north of Gate Town. It's nice to get that crystal tunnel. Hmm. One more, one more invasion, and I'll call it a day. Just one more. Actually, I could I get another level? Is the question. Hmm. Oh, we're already invading. Good. Oh, it probably prioritizes stuff that's near. That's cool. Alright, alright. So, let's hope and pray that this one actually works. This is... Oh, we're in the end. We're in a tunnel. Fun. Close to fingers. That would be... And use special vitality. Oh, they're high. All right then. Gonna go down or oh, bloody fingers right there. You no, know, I. This is fine by me. One, 
So I oh well I did not intend on that. Send that guy down. I do not like that. Well it's a one-on-one -on -one now. Can I one two dodge dodge what? Huh? Huh? What? Oh my goodness, you are too strong. I uh, okay, cool. And dodge Oh my goodness. Okay. So two isn't not Okay, getting close. What are you gonna do? Dodge, dodge, okay, cool, and what in the- You are way too strong. This is a guy who- Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is somebody's overpowered friend for sure. And, alright. Thanks. Hmm. Maybe if I just use, hmm, host of fingers and- Somebody to- Oh, well, the host is dead. Distracted them long enough. You know, teamwork. Teamwork. I'll take it. So, in that case, I think it'll be the end of the day. I was able to distract. They're overpowered for run long enough. For the host to get killed by the other invader. Ah, oh, voice crack. I think, I think that counts as a victory. So the only things left in Lyrania are going to be this part over here and this part over here. Yeah, I'm glad you liked it. I'll see you next time. Dorkapon should wrap up Saturday and then I need to figure out something else to do multiplayer, so that'll be fun. Yeah, Sanoragon.